Good? Well done. Okay. Okay. Let's spin around. We'll get his van in the background a little bit. Okay. Okay. You can look at me. You've done this a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. Diana, come for me a little bit. There we go. Okay. So my first question to you is, how did you know Teresa? Well, Teresa used to come out with here all the time, take pictures of my vehicles, and to put them in the book. Okay. So how long has have you known her? I've been using the book for a year, a little over a year, maybe, somewhere in there. And when she came out here, was she all business? What was your personality like? Same thing every time. You know, hi, how you doing? You know, mostly that. And say about five minutes, and out she goes again. Okay. So how did you first hear that she disappeared? When the cops came up by the house, by my mom and dad, then they asked me if she was out here and that. And I said, yeah. And then they asked me what time. Um, around 2, 2.30. You know, that's what she mostly comes out. You know, 2, 2.30. Okay. Sometimes, it was one time, it was at 3 o'clock. And then when she left, which direction was she going? I mean, did she seem fine? Did she seem agitated? Same thing. Normal. But then she went out to the road and, you know, she goes to a large B. I don't know where she goes, you know, after that. You know, because the field's all open, you know, you can see, so. So which direction was she going in? Towards Larby. Okay. Did she mention any other appointments that day or anything like that? Not, I don't think so, because most of the time she takes a picture, then she runs down the sewer number, and then she comes and collects the money, and, and that's about it. Okay. So what kinds of questions were police asking you? This one, she was out here, with time, around. Mm. That was about it. Mm. Did they ask you to take a polygraph or anything like that? No, no. Well, tonight, the cops come and they asked me if I remember anything. And I told them no. no. And then they asked me if they can come in the house and check the house over. I said, oh, I got no problem with that, come on in. So they checked the house all over. Well, everything was fine, and they left. Mm -hmm. If they asked you to take a polygraph, would you? Would you not? And why? Well, I got nothing to hide. If they want me to, I don't care. I'm just at home, work up there all day. I barely go anywhere. Once in a while, I go to Manitoba, I can come back. And that's about it. So, so when you heard about it, how did you feel? It's too close to home, something happening. You know, it's not good. Everybody locks their doors now around here. You know, it's pretty bad when something happens around here. You know, I can see somewhere else, but this is too close to home. And you get a little worried and, you know, your family. <clears throat> and it does it, I mean, knowing her, I mean, I, are you, what are your feelings for her parents and... They must be going through hell. You know, I figure my mom and my dad and everybody else, my family, they went through hell when I went to, to the, did 18 years for something I didn't do. I figured they're going through probably the same thing because they lost somebody or whatever. You know, she's got to be out there somewhere, so somebody should be looking. Okay. Um, so how, when she takes pictures of the car, how does she usually do it? I mean, just kind of the front angle or what, what angles of the car does she usually? Mostly from the front of the side. You know, stands right there. She drives up to it and takes the picture and that's it. Does it strike you as weird? I mean, do you think this is kind of odd? Yeah. But there's stuff happening in the world all over. You know? But this is just too close to home for me. You know, and I'm involved. I don't. I don't feel good. You know. Then I got all the heat on me again. I did enough time. I learned my lesson. I didn't do nothing wrong. I mostly stay home, mind my own business. You know, now all of this is happening. You know, and then I find out that she's out here, and now she's missing. 
And I'm wondering the same thing. Where is she? Where'd she go? I know people run away, but there's got to be a reason. So yeah, I'm wondering what all of that, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, stay right there for a second. Did you have it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think everybody's more than what she had. <laughs> Can you show us the man a little, Steve? No, just outside's fine. Just kind of. So this is the van, huh? Yeah, there's the van. How much are you asking? Make an offer. <laughs> <laughs> what make and model is it? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Eighty nine. What? Is this where it was when she took the picture? Yeah. Right. So, um, have they asked you to come in at all? No. no. Two and three o'clock. Most of the time. Okay. I mean, it might be, well, I think one time she came at three o'clock. So, about how many times have you had to deal with this auto trader and people coming to take pictures and you having to be there? Maybe 15 times. Okay. So going back to Monday, did your sister say someone's coming? Yeah, I set it up for her. You set it up? Yeah. You call up Auto Trader? Yeah. And, and what time were you supposed to come? So did you copy my last well, they told me, to to me when I called them up, it was Monday morning. And they said, well, she don't know about today or next week, Monday. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if she called me back or not. Or I call them back. I think maybe I call. I call them back and asked her if she knew. Mm hmm And she said, yeah, she should be out there today. Okay. Where did they come from? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. So a lady shows up. What time does she show up, you think? It's like I told them down there between 2 and 2.30. So she shows up in what kind of vehicle? SUV. What? It's always the same one. What color? Green. Was it a, do you know what make and model or anything, or? At the time, no, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was a tie or I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so a green SUV, she shows up, she comes to where? To, by the van. And where's the van at? Um, right in here. Okay, so the van is here, and this is what she's interested in, right? Yeah. And that's uh, Auto Trader? Yeah. So you meet her there, right? Yeah, when well, she took a picture, and she writes down, you know, all the serial numbers. Okay, and you're there watching her do these well, things? Well, I was in the house when I come out. Okay, you came out when she's doing yeah. this. Because then she gets the money. Okay. Yeah. What kind of money does she get? 
which would be forty dollars. And that's for the I'm putting it in. Putting it in the ad. Yeah. So you say anything to her? You have any conversation, or she give you a receipt, or no, just hi. Well, most of the time I get a receipt, but what I need that for? Okay. I never had no problems with them. So out of fifteen, she give me a book. Pardon? She give me the Auto Trader oh, yeah. book. Yeah, she always gives me that. So out of the fifteen times that you may have been involved with the pictures being taken and so forth, this time you did not get a receipt. Well, I think the last two times. No receipt. No. Okay. So she takes her pictures. You give her forty bucks. Yeah. Two twenties or. I think it was one twenty. A ten. I think two fives. What's this girl's name? Teresa or something. Okay. Did you know that beforehand or only on that? Yeah, I, I knew. And once I heard it, you know, I always. Okay. And I always know it. So, what kind of conversation did you have about anything? Really? Hi. That's about it. Gave her the 40 bucks. She gave you an Auto Trader magazine. No. Yep. Okay, and then she and was she there? Went, well, she went to the car and got me that. Okay, and how long was she there, maybe? No more than five minutes. Okay. So and she That's almost all the time, within five minutes. Does she have any phone calls or anything? Does she have a cell phone or anything like that, or...? Uh, no. Did she seem distressed about anything? She seemed like she had... Normal, just like the other times. Seemed like she had any other place to go? Did she mention about having to go any place else? No. Um, that's never. Mention about where she came from? or No. Did she go inside the van and look around? No. Okay. No, she just takes pictures and that's it. Did she go to the bathroom or anything? Or no. <laughs> Did she seem like she was out of sorts or anything to you? No, the same thing since the first time she came out. Okay. Previous to that Halloween, when was the last time you saw her? Taking a guess. And I put my uh, my uh, Grand Prix in there. My Grand Prix. And How long that was that? Week, two, three weeks. Okay. One of them. So now this is between 2 and 2.30, right? Yeah. She's there for most 15 minutes. No, 5 minutes. 5 minutes. And then she's gone. She pulls out of your driveway, right? Yeah. Which way does she go? And then she goes to Lard B. Uh, she goes back on this way and this way and then this way. This all this, this is all field. That was, that's all cut down. So you can so see. So you can see the highway. Okay. So she leaves here and goes this way, right? Yeah. Teresa? Yeah. Okay. And she wasn't with anybody at all? No. There was nobody in the truck. Okay. Did you, you didn't see her come in? Which way she came in? No. All right. No. Well, she mostly goes that way. Okay. Or be. So at some point, law enforcement talks to you, right? Fill me on that part of it. How does, what happens? Thursday night, Wednesday night. They stop out by the house. Mm-hmm. And then they asked me, well, I went outside, you know. I didn't, I didn't see the car come in. Mm -hmm. I went out there, and there was a cop right up at the door. And they said, well, was uh, Teresa here for auto trader? And I told them, yeah. Monday? Yeah. Okay. And, I don't know, he said, and she was missing, or they were looking or something. What time she was here? When what time she was there? I think I told him between two and two thirty. Because it was a little while after that, my mom came down with my mail. Mm-hmm. And your mail comes at a specific time. Well, when she goes up, and gets it. When she got time to get it. Mm -hmm. And if I got mail, then she brings it down. And what times your mail usually come? Between twelve and two. Do you wear a watch? No. No. Cell phone. Okay. So the cops are talking to you and they ask you about the same things I'm asking you about today. What yeah, else? That was only for a couple minutes. Okay, and, and, just, was it. and they leave. Yeah. What about subsequent conversations with other law enforcement afterwards? No, well, then after that, the next day, Friday.
Friday, was Wednesday Friday's night. yesterday. It was Wednesday night I talked to the first cop? Or Thursday night? I can't remember now. Okay. But then it was the next day. And then they, Earl and Chucky were in the garage and they heard my truck on the scanner. And they come in the house because I was with Ma. Now, now what is that about the scanner? Well, there's a police scanner. For okay. record calls, you know, mm -hmm. record call Avery's in. So we go on the record calls in. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me where my truck was. I said, it's at home. So I told Ma, I said, well, let's go in the golf cart and let's go check. Mm -hmm. So I went down there, I was there, and there was a squad car coming up. So he stopped, I stopped, I'm all I stopped. And so was there a question about whether or not the truck was gone or something, or what? No, they just ran my license plate. <coughs> oh, so someone, were down there. someone ran a license plate and yeah. you guys heard it on the scanner. Yeah. So you guys went out and there was a squad car there and yeah. stuff? Okay, I got you. Go ahead. Then, uh, and then he asked me to, if he can check the house. Mm-hmm. I said, I don't care. I got no problem. I said, well, meet me down there, I'll let you in. Hmm. So went down there. He checked everything all over. He said, well, that's good. And you think this is Thursday, or when do you think this is? I don't know if it's Thursday night or Friday night. Okay. I'm going to go talk to this deputy for a second. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Sure you don't want a cigarette? No, don't smoke. I don't smoke. Okay, where we're at was the idea that someone ran the plate on the truck, law enforcement came to the house. You're thinking this was on Thursday, right? Thursday or Friday. Okay, and then what happened at the house? And you went in, checked it all over, then they come out. Well, me and my mom went in the house too, because I had to go. They wanted me to go with them. Mm -hmm. So I opened every door and they checked around and everything else. So they searched the house. Yeah. Now, which house are we talking about? The trailer. Okay, your, your house. Yeah. Okay. So I got that all done, and they said, fine. Mm -hmm. And they left. Okay. They said, have a good day, shook their hand, and... And then after that, any more contact with law enforcement? No. All right. No. So what you've just basically told me now brings me up to speed as to why we're here. And basically what we're doing is the same thing that they did down there, and just checking the house, talking to you, making sure there's nothing here. All right? Uh... What did you hear today as far as what's going on down there? All I know is where the cops were down there. Okay. Did you know the vehicles found down there? I heard something. Yeah. Any explanation as to why the vehicle's there? I got no idea. Okay. Steve, uh, see, were you... I seen light. Mm-hmm. See me and my brother who mm -hmm. got some wood. It was Thursday night. Well, I seen lights down by me. So I told him, I said, might turn around. Let's go check that out. Mm -hmm. So we went back there, and he pulled by my sister. And I took the flashlight out of the flatbed. And I looked around, but I didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. So then we left. So Thursday night, you and your brother are out getting wood? Yeah, we went to Menards. Okay. Is that the wood that's in the back of your dad's truck? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it was on the flatbed. All right, but now it's the wood that's there. Well, no, it's in the back there. Back here? Yeah. Okay. Thursday night, you and your brother, and your brother is? Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Went to Menards, got some wood. Yeah. You're on your way back to your house. No, this was when uh, we left. Okay. When you're leaving to go to Menards. Yeah. What time's that about? We're talking Thursday night, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was around, I don't know, 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. because we went up the road just a little ways. And Which I, vehicle? The flatbed. And then you guys saw lights at that time? Yeah. Where did you, where'd you see lights at? Back by me. So we turned around. What kind of lights did you see? Tail lights. They were kind of bright. I spotted them right away, but then they went off. That's why I told him, Chuck, yes, we want to turn around, turn around.
Where were you at on the road here when you saw the tail lights? Well, they were someplace in here. Because I think we got out 147. Okay, so you're here and you see the lights. Where do you see the lights at? Back in here someplace. It seemed like it was right behind me. You no, know, you got a gravel pit here. Mm -hmm. on the edge here and... I don't know. Strange so you tell there. Chuck, turn around, let's go back. You go yeah. back, what happens? Well, then we pulled up. I got the flashlight. And uh, I walked around the trailer, shined it, and there was nothing there. Then I walked up a little past the trees there, and I looked, I didn't see nothing. So then I came back. Where did Chuck stay? Chuck stayed in the truck. Then what did you guys do? Then we left again. Went to Menards. Anything else? happened after that? I went to Menards, got that all done. Then uh, we, I stopped by the county jail. For what? I dropped off $50. Okay, your girlfriend's? For my fiance. Okay. And then we went home. Okay. From there. And uneventful from there on? Yeah, well, that was good. Any explanation as far as what you could figure out as to why you saw taillights maybe? I don't know. Do you usually have any problems down there at all? Well, once in a while, there's somebody in the back trying to sneak in the junkyard. To skip parts and stuff? Yeah. Now... Well, one person, right, four people mm -hmm. got caught just maybe a month and two months ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, for trespassing. Now, is your mom and your dad home and stuff? Uh, Did you talk to them about it? No. Did you talk to your sister about it? No. You just me and Chuck. Just you and Chuck. Yeah. So you paid it no other attention than what you paid it that night by telling Chuck, turn around, you went back to your place, got the flashlight out of the flatbed, went over by your trailer, checked around, went over by the tree line. Yeah. How close is the tree line to your trailer? Maybe two cars. So I'm not a far distance. No, no, no they ain't far at all. Okay. You gotta, I got a swimming pool there, then... You barely can just drive through there. Mm -hmm. But you do have problems once in a while with people coming in there to try to get parts and stuff yeah. like that. Which once in a while, I take the truck back there, you know, just like uh, redone, you know. Do you guys have any dogs and stuff like that? I got a dog. Or does it bark a lot? Well, that one in there barks. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a German Shepherd. He barks all the time. Okay. Now, this diagram that you drew out and that we've been making notes on and stuff. But when we left coming up, one. Chucky left for coming up north, mm -hmm. and he seen, he seen lights down by him. Okay, and where's Chuck live? Chuck lives right here. So, Chuck comes up here when? Friday night. Okay, and you come up when? Saturday morning. Okay. For Ma and Brian. But then he called me up and he said he seen lights. So then, I hopped in my truck with Bobby, mm -hmm. my sister's boy. And we went down there by Chucky, and just by the edge there, we came, well, I didn't see nothing, so I came back up. And this is on Friday night? This is Friday night. So Chuck's on his way up here? Yeah. And he calls you up? Yeah. Where's he at when he calls you up? On the road. I don't yeah. know okay. what's, what's back. What time does he call you up? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't okay. check my phone. <laughs> and your cell phone? Yeah. And he's calling from his cell phone? Yeah. What's his cell phone number? Uh, seven three nine or two four two two four two uh fourteen seventy. Okay. He calls you up from his cell phone to your cell phone and says what? He told me to go, he seen some lights, he wanted me to check them out. I thought he was bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when I said it, 
he thought I was bullshitting. Mm-hmm. No, he was serious. No, it was light. I seen light. Did he say what kind of lights? I think he said headlights. Okay. Uh, then I told him, I said, well, I'll go check it out then. Did you say where? Yeah, back by him. Where he lives there. Mm-hmm. So that's when I went down there with Bobby. We looked. We didn't see nothing. And we left. And Bobby, is he the guy that's here? No, he's somewhere else. Bobby who? Dassey. Spell it. <laughs> uh, D. I don't remember. Dassey? Dassey. Is he related to you? He's my sister's kid. Your sister is who? Barbara. Barb's son. Yeah. How old? Rough. Oh. Teens? Yeah, he's... Uh, 1819. Okay. Somewhere in there. Where are you at when Chuck calls you? Um, in, let's see, where was I? Oh, I was talking to uh, uh, Bobby outside. He had his four wheeler. Okay. And he was screwing around with his four wheeler, I think, or something. Over by your sister? Yeah. Okay. Where do you get the flashlights and stuff from them? When you and Bobby go check. Oh, there was no flashlights. You just walked back there? No, I took my truck. Okay. Because that's up the road where I live there. Now I got to go there. Took truck to Yeah, I took my truck. Which truck is that? That's my 2002 Ford. Two thousand two? Yeah. So you guys go down there to check, right? Yeah. What do you find? Nothing. But that was only a little pl past this place. I didn't go no farther than that. That was dark out? Yeah. Yeah, it was after eight o'clock. Because he always leaves late. Somewhere around in there. Okay. So that's the end of that event. Yeah. Anything else? No. Well, that was a little, I think it was a little while later or something. And then, uh, I guess Bobby, uh, oh, Barbara came home and she seen a deer. Somebody hit a deer just right up the road. So same night. We're talking Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. So where was Barb at? Well, I don't know where she was. She came home. And then, I guess they called the cops and Claimed the deer. Who claimed the deer? Uh, Bobby did. So she saw a deer on the road? Yeah. We don't know who hit the deer, right? No, I don't. Somebody did. Was it long? Who claimed the deer? Bobby did. What'd she do with the deer? She cleaned, they cleaned it out. Where at? In the garage. Okay. Then they scun it. Okay. It's on Friday nights. So. Yeah. Okay. What else? Well, then a little while after he got done, I went home. Okay. So Friday night, you just go home then and you're done for tonight. Yeah. Do you live with anybody? Not right now. Okay. She's in jail right now. What's she in jail for? Drunken driving. Hmm. Second offense or something? Or what? Must be a... Fourth. Fourth? But this, I think it's the fifth time, I think. Hmm. But she wasn't driving. I was driving, but... Long story, uh, yeah. yeah. Is she homegrown? <laughs> from Two Rivers, Manitowoc area? No, she's from Arizona, I think it was. Really? Where at? I don't know what town. <laughs> <laughs> what brought her up here? Oh, she's been up here for well, over 12 years, I think. Yeah, doesn't she know it's cold mom, up here? <laughs> her mom and dad lives up here. Yeah? That's cool. You know, I, I'm from Pennsylvania, and then when I first came out to Wisconsin, the first place I was stationed was in Two Rivers. And uh, I remember driving through Two Rivers in the wintertime, looking at the snow banks <laughs> in the middle of the road. Because at that time, they used to oh, blow it snow. blow it into the middle of the road, yeah. and then they'd cut paths through you know? Yeah, so you can get to the side roads. Yeah. I was talking to your brother. Uh, did you ever fish at the Shoto Dam there? Yeah. yeah. I used to love fishing there. That was a good place. Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, a long <laughs> time ago. The only thing that used to be there was, what, the dam bar 
there was a bar there. Yeah. And the firemen used to have their picnic there. But that was the only thing that was there, and that was back in the early 80s, like 82, 83. Yeah. But I used to love fishing there. I used to get some nice trout out of there. And But then they had all the, the remember when snagging used to be allowed? Yeah. They used to all go in there and snag and leave all their line in there and stuff, and it was just <laughs> really trashed the place. Yeah. All right, so Friday night you stay at home, nothing happened after that, you wake up in the morning, what do you, what do, you do then? Wake up, uh, took a shower, got dressed. What time are you up about? Uh, five o'clock. In the morning? <coughs> what the heck are you doing getting up so early? Oh, well, mom wanted to leave early. Okay, so you guys had planned to come up here then? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, then, uh... Got up, got in the car, and then uh, I went up by the garage, and I had to look for some some fan belts, the groove one, you know, not the newer type, the older type. Mm -hmm. His dad wanted it for a grinder that so I and he bought, and he's got to put it together. Up here? Yeah. Okay. So I couldn't find none of them. All got is the newer ones. Mm -hmm. So then I got all the stuff. Outside, and I packed it in the car, and then we had to get Brian, wait for Brian for, I don't know, 10 minutes. No, Brian's... Brian. Okay. Who's he now? That's my sister's kid. Barb's kid? Yeah. Okay, so that's Bobby's brother. Yeah. Gotcha. Then, uh, waited for him, and he got all ready, because he was in the shower. Mm-hmm. And so he got in, and we left. What did you drive up in? My grand -aunt. Okay. So you drove up with who? I drove up with my ma mm -hmm. and Brian. All right. And a dog. And a dog. <laughs> so then, what did Chuck bring up? Chuck brought up the flatbed. Okay. That was Friday night. And then, who's Suzuki or whatever that is there? That stays up here. Okay. Then, the pickup truck? That's my dad's. And your dad come up when? Thursday night. So he came up before even Chuck came up. Yeah. yeah. So Thursday night, dad comes up. All that lumber that's in dad's truck, where'd that come from? That came from in the garage. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so. And that's not the same lumber that you guys would have went and got? No. Okay. No. That's a whole different story, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and, of course, the golf cart stays up here? Yeah, it all stays okay. up here. Okay, so Dad's been up here since Thursday night. Yeah. Well, he go, he comes up here Thursday nights and stays here to Tuesday morning. And he comes back Tuesday morning. Every week? Every week. Cool. So then uh, Chuck comes up on Friday night. Yeah. And then you come up with your mom and your nephew. Yeah. On Saturday, what time do you guys get up here? About twenty after eight. Okay. And we had to stop at Piggly Wiggly mm -hmm. and Lena, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And we had to buy two things of bacon. One bacon for here and one bacon for home. Okay. <laughs> so who's all at home now? My mom and dad. Nobody. Down in on Avery Road. Uh, my sister. And Bobby? Bobby. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blaine and her other son is then going with a friend or something. Okay. I think that's it. All right. And Earl is a couple miles away. Now, now, how come you look so much like your dad and your brother doesn't? He used to I mean, he used to drink a lot of Pepsi and Coke and that, and I don't know. Your brother? Yeah. Yeah, so that's sorry, sorry. I kept him skinny in that. Wow, so all that sugar. <laughs> yeah. 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 That wow. Caffeine and everything, and a lot of coffee. He goes through a lot of coffee. Yeah. What? Tell uh, me, tell me, call me back later. I don't know. Not long. Not long. Say fifteen minutes. Oh, that's my lawyer. Huh? My lawyer. Oh. Your mom seems like she's nice, eh? Yeah. She is there. Eh? Cool. Yeah, when she hears all of this stuff, it breaks her up. Yeah. Steve, I, I mean... I went through a, a lot, and then I got to go through all of this again. Steve, you know what? Seriously, no. The idea of coincidence. One thing I don't believe in is coincidence, okay? And there's a lot of different rationales as to why people do what they do. Oh, yeah. But I just want to say this. You know, they find that vehicle down there, and huh, Why? I can't figure that out. How can we explain that away? I can't. I mean, is there just this big conspiracy against Steve Avery for a vehicle in his yard? What's going on, Steve? 
I don't know. I was surprised. Uh, all of this came back to me. Okay. Man. On the phone with the possible attorney. Okay, Steve's still on the phone. His mom called him, told him to answer the phone. They want to talk to him right now. Uh, he exited the car with no prohibition for me. Time is 2.55 p.m. Still on the phone. Your dad says you're a good guy. He says, you know, generally when I meet people, I have to make a quick decision whether they're yes people or no people. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because it depends a lot as far as how people are to me. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to disagree with your dad. Your family's been through a lot, no oh, doubt. Yeah. And they're very supportive of you. But before we left, what we were talking about was the idea that, hey, look at Here it is. They find this girl's vehicle on your property. Yeah, it don't look good. And they don't find it like the camper just sitting there. They find it actually concealed, you know? Did you ever have any type of access to that vehicle? Were you inside that vehicle? Did you do anything with that vehicle? Did you touch that vehicle? I might have touched the door when I got the book. Uh, now, how did you get the book? How would you have gone to the vehicle to get the book? She, she had to get the book from the, the vehicle. So how would you have touched the door to get the book? You know how you, you grab the door and you wait? So did she go inside the vehicle to get the book? Yeah. yeah she got in. She got in. Yeah. So this is where sitting here. She hands you the book from yeah. inside to out? Yeah. So if you would have touched the door, where would you have touched? Well, different places, it all depends on how it is. Do you remember touching the vehicle? I remember touching the door. I was on top of the door, side of the door. Okay, but it's not like you were inside the vehicle or no, anything no, else like no, that. No, Now, you said you were inside your home when she pulled up. Yeah. Okay. And the contact you had with her only lasted for how many minutes? Within five minutes. And then from after you're done with her and she gives you the book, where do you go to? I go back in the house. Okay, so at the time before you go leave to get out of the house, that's where you've been for how long? Since 11 o'clock. Okay, so from 11 till 2. And then about 2.15, 2.30, whatever the case may be, right? And you're done with her, she leaves, you go back into your house. Yeah. And how long are you there for? Probably, I don't know, drop off the book. Then I walked over by Barbara. By where? By Barbara, my sister. Okay. And said Bobby was home, but Bobby was already gone. He just left. Now, where did you drop off the book? On my, by my computer. At your house? Yeah. Okay, so you drop off the book, then you walk from there over to your sister's home? Yeah. Barbara. And to see if who's there? Bobby. Okay. Is this Bobby there? No, he's gone. Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Oh. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Here, try that one. <laughs> Detective O'Neill. Okay. 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 Well, we're talking to Stephen about some issues. Okay, Steve, what's your last name? Marinette County Sheriff's Department. Yeah. But Stephen's uh, well aware he's not under arrest. He's free to leave at any time. He doesn't have to talk to us. 
so that's not an issue with us right now. I mean, we have no plans or uh, to arrest him or any way. Well, I'm not saying that, no. I mean, I'm just talking to him as to a follow-up for Mantua County regarding the incidents that uh, occurred out there. So uh, it's, it's for me to say he's a suspect, I haven't determined that, no. <coughs> not at all. I don't think it's going to be long. In fact, the only interruption that we had was the short time that, you know, he was talking to you, and we were maybe about five, ten minutes away from being done with our conversation, so that's what we're trying to do so I could get the heck home and he could get back to his family and we could get out of here. Okay? Sure. All right. Yeah? Yeah? No. Mm. Uh, I don't know I could. Yeah? Uh. Uh. This is what I told you. Uh. Oh, hang on for a minute. Can you give me a minute? Sure, you bet. Left the vehicle to confer with his attorneys by himself. Attorneys asked me if he was a suspect. I said, I cannot say that. I can't say that he's a suspect. My only interest was to talk to him about the events as to why man talks over at his place. I guess they don't want me to talk no more. They don't? No, but here's his number case. When you want to talk to me, you can contact them and they can, they want to be there too. Okay. So, if, let me ask you this, Steve. Although they're telling you that they don't want you to talk no more, is that your wishes? And I'm going to well, ask you. Well, i got to listen to the lawyer. Well, you're your own person. Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about you committing any crime here. What we're talking about is a missing person, right? Oh, yeah. So in the interest of a missing person, last being seen by you, that we're aware of, and trying to figure out where this person may be, am I understanding you correctly in the idea that you could help in this investigation to find this missing person that you're refusing to cooperate because your attorney's telling you not to talk to us? Oh, no. No. Okay. So... I mean, you're 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 a forty-some-year-old man. Yep. You're an intelligent guy. You you if you have nothing to fear, uh, you know. Do you want to finish this conversation? As long as it's easy, uh, whatever I know. No. I said, well, yeah. You know, that's up to you. Well, we can. 
It's up to you. Yeah. Now your attorneys may be giving you this advice, and I'm just yeah. saying, hey, look it. Here it is, person to person. You understand what we're talking about—a missing person—and it's purely up to you. They can't invoke it on your behalf, but you can, on your behalf, say, "Hey, look at now. This is my own decision, and this is what I'm going to do." Okay. Oh yeah, I like I have, that. Not, I haven't threatened you. No. I haven't promised you anything. I told you that you're free to leave. You don't have to talk to me. And I'm going to ask you, Steve, do you continue? Do you still want to talk to me about this so we can? Yeah, we can talk a little longer, you know. Okay. I want to help. I understand and that, that's and, what I want to and that's where I'd want to be too. You know, we're talking about a serious issue here, and I'm sure there's people. Oh yeah, that well, and I don't like people being missing, and the family's got to go through it, mm -hmm. like I did. And it's rough on them. Sure. How do we explain this vehicle being on your family's property after you've seen it go out the driveway, hang a left? I don't know. I got no Any idea. ideas? Oh. Okay. I can't figure that out. She left, she went towards the high system. That's all I know. Is there any other entryway outside of the driveway coming back to your property? Well, yeah, you can come through the back. I mean, I heard you else. You heard where they said they found the vehicle, right? No. Was it over by a pond or something like that? Is there a pond? Yeah, there are, there's another corner. Okay. Where is that on here, kind of? Well, I'm toward diagram. <laughs> Where's the pond at? That's back here. Okay, so if we were to go beyond all the buildings and stuff, it's back there. Yeah. And behind Chucky. And we talked about the idea that she gets in the vehicle and she hands you through the window, the Auto Trader magazine? No, the door's open. So she, the door's yeah, still door's open. open? door's open. Okay, so you may have held the door while she handed you that. Yeah. But you're not certain, no, if you did or not, right? No, I don't. As far as inside the vehicle, no way, you no, weren't in the vehicle. No, I wasn't in the vehicle. You told me that you gave her forty dollars, right? Yeah. Was that your money or Barb's money or an envelope or what was that? Uh, for? That was my money. Because my sister, she told me I, if I can borrow it to her. Okay, and that's from the conversation you had with her. Yeah. That same day. Barbara. Yeah. That Monday. No, that was couple of days, I think. Okay, so sh she asked you if you'd pay her? Yeah, for now. And you told me that you called up the auto trader place to see if they'd come out that Monday, right? Yeah. And you called on that Monday? Yeah. And and they, said, the they said they were uncertain if they could get someone out there that day, maybe next Monday? Yeah. And then did you call them again or did they call you? I think I called them. Okay, and, and they told you then that they would have somebody come out? Yeah, that she was going to come out. That Monday, as far as doing work in the shop or the garage or any part of the business, did you do anything other than stay at your house in, that day? Well, I worked up there in the morning. I helped him out. From what uh, time to what time, you think? 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Okay, and then from 11 o'clock you went back to your yeah, house up until a point of 2 yeah. o'clock when the ve yeah, two, two, her vehicle three. pulled up, yeah. right? 15 minutes at the most you were with her? Or was it five? Five minutes. Five minutes. You're over by the van with her. She's copying down information. She takes her picture. You give her the $40. She doesn't give you a receipt? Last two times, I didn't get none. Okay. And that was because you didn't want one? I didn't need it. Okay. But usually you would. No. Yeah, there were times before that I already did. Did but you ask her for one of those booklets? No, she just gives them up. So that's like every time that she comes by, she'll yeah. give you a, a yeah. brand new book. Because it's a, a newer one, one I ain't got to buy. Okay, and we, and we talked about the idea of that vehicle being at your place. You don't believe in coincidence, do you? What's, what do you think? I can't believe it was there. It's, it's hard. I know shit does happen. But I don't know. Is honest God true? I don't know. That puzzles me myself. Mm -hmm. Anybody else in your family that may have had anything to do with this that you're aware of? No. You have no ideas, no suspicions, no nothing like that? No. Uh uh. No, we all get along good and everything is fine. Mm hmm. You know, we've been getting along great since I've been out. And, then, and I mean, you're free and clear out. You're not on probation or nothing, no, are you? No. Well, you know, before this deal that you went in for, I mean, anything else happened in your life before or no? I mean,. Growing up, I mean, you involved in anything bad or no? No, not real bad, no. I ran my cousin off the road. 
and I had got, I think I got two burglaries on my record. For what, cabins or yeah. businesses? Yeah, or? cabins. Mm -hmm. A tavern. That black pickup truck that's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just going to talk to your mom. I think we're almost done. Pardon? Don't tell me to get in that black truck. Right. Because I can't. She got bad knees. Yeah, he'll help her. I have her. to use a step stool to get into this. So putting our best thinking cap on. The people would have access to actually do that, put a vehicle in your property and oh yeah you got the whole back is all open mm -hmm. you got a big pit okay. and it's all open all right yeah anybody can drive back there or well, a couple people got busted back there already mm -hmm. okay uh, right now i'm basically done unless i i'm gonna go talk to the sergeant and see if there's anything that i may want to talk to you about or whatever and you know, as far as I'm concerned, you've been cooperative and... Oh, yeah. Uh, I told the media, if I can help, I will help. All right. You know, I don't like it myself. Yeah. And it's too close to home. Of course. You know, yeah. something could happen to my mom, my sister, my mm -hmm. brothers. I don't know that. Right. Uh, it is kind of scary, you know, after I did all that time. And the people I've been in, you know, a bunch of perverts anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are. How long did you spend it? 18 and 6 weeks. How old were you when you first met? 24. Wow. That's something. You know, I went through all of that and now. I gotta go through all of this. I don't know. How long have you been out now? A little over two years. Yeah. Have you been strictly working with the family then or what? Yeah. Helping them out. Paying the bills? Giving me the... You know, my brother helps me. Who's this guy here? That's Brendan. He, who's he? my sister's kid. So that's Barb's other kid? Yeah. So Barb has three boys? Four. Four boys? Four. <laughs> Is she younger or older than you? She's older. I mean, younger than me. Yeah? God, that's a handful of four boys, eh? 40. Who did he come up with? Uh, Chucky. So he came up on Thursday? Yeah. Oh, Friday night. Friday night. Yeah. Now, let me understand this again. Now, um, Chuck came up on Friday. Dad came up on... Thursday night. Thursday night. And then yeah. Mom came up with you yeah. and... And Brian. Brian. And the dog. And then, <laughs> yeah. How was this girl? Was she pretty nice or no, Teresa? She seemed nice. How many times do you think you saw her before that day? Around 15 times, maybe. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Anybody else beyond her, besides her, come up and take pictures? No. Oh, it's always there. been her, yeah, eh? it's always been her. And it's always been for like five minutes and that's it? Yeah, that's it. Never had any conversations with her, talked to her, shoot the shit, of course, sort of no, thing? No, no. Always business, eh? And before she used to give you receipts, right? Yeah. And then I got it for so long, you know, so long. What I need them for. Mm -hmm. They don't screw up. You know, I just put my my vehicle in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. you know, my sisters. And so you guys sell a lot of vehicles for... No, just the ones. Well, see, my sister had a lot of vehicles when I got out, mm -hmm. and they needed work, so I fixed them and we get rid of them. Hmm. So you helped fix the vehicles your sister had, and then you guys yeah. just sell them. They sell them. My so, dad sell junk, so I got to fix them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's not part of the actual business part. No, it was just no. a side thing that you yeah. guys did. Yeah. And I buy a couple, and I run them for a little while, then I get sick of them. Hmm. So when you talk to your sister about putting this van in, in this in this <coughs> advertising, that was on when? Probably a couple of days. See, I wasn't going to bring the van up north. Mm hmm And try it out. But then uh, something went wrong, so I came back home and took my truck out. So probably a couple of days before that, that will, I'll put it in there and then we'll get rid of it. So you talked to your sister about that? Yeah. Well, it was a couple couple weeks mm -hmm. when I mentioned it. You know. So then Monday's the first phone call that you made to this place to yeah. say come out and take a picture of it. Yeah, yeah most time it's Mondays. Where did they come out of? I don't even know. 
Like what number do you call? Uh, on the book on the bottom, there's a number. Hmm. You can always call. You know, I think there's an 800 number and there's another one. And then the 40 bucks you had and, and your sister had asked that you put up the 40 bucks for that. Yeah. Okay. This girl asked to use the bathroom or anything like that? No. Did she smoke at all? Or? I don't know. Do you remember what she was wearing? I don't know. What's she look like? Skinny. Like a normal person, almost like my sister almost. What color her hair? It's darker, I think. Short, darker. long, straight. Shorter, I think. Hmm. Do you remember what clothes you were wearing that day? I don't even know. Do you have some clothes in the trunk of your car? Yeah. Are those? Well, I those in them. No? No. I think they're probably at home. Or in the dryer. Okay. They're probably at home. Did she ask to use anything at all? No. And the time of day was what? Two o'clock? So it's still daylight out? Yeah. It was what was out. Monday like? Monday was already day, wasn't it? It was a nice day. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Since Monday, were you back in that area that I, we talked about where a pond is, where this vehicle is possibly located? Well, I haven't been there since Friday night with Earl. Pardon? Friday night with Earl. But that was before the pond. Way before. Right this, this, this past Friday? Yeah. Friday night? What were yeah. you doing back there? Well, he was uh, sighting his gun in for hunting. Okay. So Friday night, you and Earl are back to your sighting and gun? Yeah. For hunting? Well, what kind Thursday of gun? Night, Friday night. Friday night's only yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it was. Yesterday afternoon. So you and Earl go back there and sight in this gun? Yeah. What, what time do you think that was? Is that a place where you normally go shooting back there? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, was a lot of Earl's friends and his wife's relation and that. Where's Earl at today? Well, he's at home. He had to run the business in okay. the morning. The towing business? Yeah. Besides this truck, you guys got more trucks? Yeah. Got a record and another flatbed. Hmm. Wow. How about besides the incident of being back there with Earl Tiger practicing on thir Friday night yesterday, right? I haven't been in the yard since probably a whole week. Okay. So before she's missing, you weren't even back there? No. Mostly is Chuck is out there taking off the parts. I'm in the garage. Okay. So since Monday... If you did do any work, it would have been in the garage only? Yeah. Not out in the yard? No. Who would have worked out in the yard since that Monday? Chucky. Chucky's Chucky the only one that would have... Earl. What were they doing out there in the yard? Getting parts off for customers. You remember what kind of parts? Were they internal parts or external parts? Or? I don't know. Window. Uh, tail light and all of that. Okay. But you weren't down in the yard at all? No, no. Okay. I don't have to fit that all. All right. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we just hang loose, take a break? I'll see how far he's done. And if, like I said, I'll talk to him. If he feels if there's anything more that I need to talk to you about, I'll talk to you, okay? Okay. Appreciate it. So, it's been going good for the past two years? You know, a lot better. Yeah, I bet Except you always, for all of this. How was it, at least, you know, when you got out, it must have been quite a shock. 18 years. Where did you spend time at? Uh, Green Bay for nine years and Fox Lake. And then uh, Tennessee and back to Fox Lake. You went down to Tennessee? I heard that was terrible yeah, down there. terrible down there. Wow. You know, did you ever meet anybody from Marinette County or no? Do you remember? Yeah, there was all kinds of people. Yeah. Anybody of no notoriety that you met? Mostly all over. Yep. 
But you were 24 when you went in? Yeah. And how old when you came out? 38? 40. 40. Yeah. Did you I don't know, somewhere in there. Did you graduate high school? No. Where'd you go to school at? Uh, Mishkot and Riverview and Manswalk. Yeah. What do you think about Mishkot? That place really grew up, eh? Yeah, there's a lot of new things. Mm hmm. A lot of new things. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of streets, a lot of roads. Yeah, place has changed a lot, no doubt. All your vehicles changed. Almost everything is different. Hmm. Okay, yeah. let's take a break, eh, bud? Sure. All right. No, that no, was only my daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, man. Wait here. Are you done now? Okay. Just about. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, you want to make sure I'm framed it okay with the microphone. I'll get that in. Well, I can I think slice. It's, that if it's, uh, yeah, here. Let me just, if he says something, let's see how it picks up. Can you say testing one, two, three for me? Testing one, two, three. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Those things are very finicky. Yeah. The ones that we clip on are so much yeah. better, but anyway. Oh, go ahead. So, how long were the officers here today, and what were they looking for? They were looking for my car and that, and. Mm, flatbed, statement. another statement uh, mm, from my family, statements and everything else again, uh, over and over. Now, how long did they sit out did here? pick up that box of nails? No, mm, no. This morning, it was not, no, it was. I don't know, pretty early, uh, I think quite a few hours. I mean, once they, they left for a while and then Brian, my brother's, I mean, my sister's kid, told him to go to, to the store and get some soda. Well, my car only made it so far down the road. And then he pulled it over, and that was the last I seen of that. And they come in and got the flatbed, and, and Chucky had to take it to Marinette and that. And then he brought him back. Any, did they give you any indication what they were looking for? or not, and no. so just, they just took it and said, we've got a warrant and that was it? Yeah, well, they didn't tell me none. Does it bother you to see this? And what, what, what's your reaction been to it all? They're trying to get everything and see what they can do and tear me down, down to the bottom, and trying to set me up and Manitowoc County is good for that, you know, setting up people. You know, I think they're, they're all dirty. You know, that's what happened the last time. Yeah, that's right? what happened last time. Then come down to it, and some of them, you know, they stick up for me, and you know, they knew I didn't do it the first time, you know. So now it's going all over again. You know, this time they might get me, they might not. All depends. If they set me up, it ain't hard to plant evidence on you. You know, it's. One thing I gotta worry about. Is there still that fear in your mind that it's like a nightmare that's coming back over? Oh yeah, and, yeah. That's all the time. Talk, you know, talk to me about that a little bit. Well, after the first time, you know, it seems like I'm going all over it again, and I gotta worry you know, what's gonna happen, and they're gonna arrest me, and they're gonna plan all the evidence. You know, I ain't been home. They spend searching, you know, how hard is it to put evidence in the, in the house or on the property? It's to serve the whole surf without to get me the first time. How do I know he ain't got nothing to do with it this time, you know? I don't know. What are some of the questions the officers have been asking you? What time has she been there? You know, what she all do when she left? You know, which way she go? Then they <clears throat> they go with the junkyard and where everything is and what do you do and and all of that stuff. 
Any idea, I mean, have you talked with the rest of the family? Is there any idea how that car might have ended up back there? No, no, nobody knows. You know, uh, Thursday night, me and Chucky, my brother, we had to go to uh, Menards, pick up some wood to burn up. But then I seen taillights back by me. <clears throat> so I told my brother to turn around. So we went, I looked, took the flashlight out of the flatbed and shine all over by my place, but I didn't see nothing. But do you think there was a car back on your property yeah. sometime? Yeah, sometime Thursday night. Well, I see taillights. Taillights don't come from nothing, you know. But then, never thought of it, and we just left and got the wood in that, came back. But then he went up north Friday night. <clears throat> so he called me when he left, and he seen lights back by him, some headlights. So he gave me a call and told me to check it out. So I went and checked it out, and I called him back. Didn't see nothing, you know. So I just left it, which I should have checked the whole junkyard. I should have. But I haven't been down in the junkyard for quite a few days, you know. Almost that whole week, I haven't been down there. So last time I was down there was Friday afternoon with my brother, you know. And that was only for a minute. Yeah. Do you think that the police are checking over everything of yours in an effort to clear your name, or do you feel like they're trying to finger you as a suspect? Probably as a suspect. Do you yeah. feel like your people are unfairly pointing the finger yeah. at you? Yeah, yeah. Because now they got everybody involved, my whole family. You know, they pull them over, they take them to jail, and they question them, and you know, they give them a rough time. You know, my younger brother, he don't know which way to go. You know, that's hard on his family. You know, with all the stuff that happened before, it's happening again. You know, when are they gonna stop? You know, Manitowoc County's always been after me for I don't know what reason. You know, he, they take it out on the junkyard, the salvage yard, and we don't get no business from them. And we got contracts for the abandoned cars and everything and we barely get them now. And we get the junk, and somebody else gets all the record calls. There could be an accident right down the road, and they'll call somebody else, you know? So I got a hunch that they're against me and against my whole family, you know? They want to do something with the junkyard. What would you say to somebody who's watching this tonight and who's watching television, and I'm sure there are people out there that say, you know, gosh, this is suspicious, we think he did it. What would you say to people who are asking questions like that. Well, I'd have to say, I didn't do it. Well, if I did it, why would I stick around if I'm guilty? I won't, <laughs> I'd be running. I ain't running, I got nothing to hide. You know, they come to me, what do they want to know, I tell them. They want to search my house, I let them in. They searched it, and they left. You know, I got nothing to hide. So yeah. what am I supposed to do? And the same thing up here, they were here. Yeah, they, they were out here. I gave them the same thing what I always did, you know. And now they're trying to, I don't know, put stuff in the game and everything else, and so then I just call it quits. I just forget it. Do you think there's somebody out there with <clears throat> that vehicle back on your junkyard and trying to frame you? Yeah. Does that worry you? Yeah. Yeah, well, somebody had to put it back there. If I seen taillights and my brother seen headlights, well, where are them vehicles? They had to come somewhere. Lights don't show up just like that. And somebody had to put it there. Now, if it wasn't there, both of my brothers go down there last week. They didn't see it. You know, something like that. It's an old. Everything down there is older. You know, the new stuff goes on top. That would have stuck out. You know, something where it don't belong there, it would have stuck out. So somebody would have had to put it there. Who? I don't know. I got a hunch it was to serve for somebody who's got it in, which I don't know. Apparently, the, it was some of the friends of, of this missing woman who found it back there. Um, it was nobody from, nobody from your family even knew it was back there. You got so many cars, that's not out of the question, though? Yeah. You don't go down there and check every square inch of that property all the time. No. It's a junkyard. Yeah. You, you throw things back there and... You're and, not down there all the time. Yeah, and that's about it, you know. If they, my brother left somebody out there, 
on her side or whatever it was. If there was something out there, why would he leave him in? You know, if we knew something out there, we'd say no. But he left him in there. We ain't got nothing to hide. It ain't supposed to be there, but it was there. How it got there, how it got in, I don't know. You know, there should be tracks where it came in from. I don't know if they looked or not. Anything I didn't ask you wanted to add in? Well, just, uh, they always say, uh, I was the last one to see her, which uh, now I find out that I wasn't. It was somebody from Green Bay or near Green Bay that seen her after that. But I don't know. See, the way it don't make sense is if she's seen somebody from Green Bay, how did the vehicle get back? That's the got me puzzled, too. I don't know. <clears throat> is your is have you been glad to have your family behind you in this past couple of days? Oh yeah, yeah. What's and that they, been like? Tough, hard. No, well, it's going. What I went through before, it's probably a little worse now. You know, <laughs> because you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, if they frame you, you don't know that. You know, you got nothing. You didn't have nothing at home. But they're going through everything. If they find something, that's something you gotta worry about. So they can plan stuff. They're the cops. They know what to plan, where to plan it. You know, it's, you always got to wonder that. Are they going to come up here and arrest me? Arrest somebody in my family? You know, you always got to worry about that. <clears throat> the Justice Department, they should work on this probably a little bit more. They'll find out. And with these dirty cops, they shouldn't be working for for the state of Wisconsin, you know. That's all I really wanted to ask. Do you have a cut away? Yeah, I'm sure we just get a shot of a couple okay, of us chatting here. People they didn't, that she was forced to see that day. But I don't know what it was. I mean, no, I'm taking it the wrong way here. And off, on TV, too. That is, it was my job, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I was I remember asking some people yesterday in the newsroom, you know, look, but I didn't think it was yours because I know that, you know, when I was down there before. Yeah. I said, Well wait just a minute here, it's his family's, it's not his. Yeah. And uh, another thing, who's gonna be picking up all this here mess what they're doing with the the buildings and everything else after they go I thought they were, I didn't realize they were black. I thought they were just the um, uh, tan color. They come in different colors. Do they? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that. I, just, I always thought they were the, the, you know, I think you think of, I think of the, um, you know, those little Taco Bell commercials? Yeah. yeah <laughs> That's they, what I... They come in brown, but it depends on the mother and father. Um, 
was there. We had a couple of them up, out the road, then down that road, and down that road. How many were here? Here Twelve, fifteen vehicles. No kidding, that many. Yeah. Ever think you'd see them up here? No, not that many. No, it was surprising when they come in and they said, they're all the way down the road and everything, you know. It's, in some way some, at the end. I see some tire tracks in here. Uh, well, the flatbed was here. My car was up over there. And yeah, I think one of them were up in here and that. So they came in up in here and, and they, you know, they came in and, and basically they, they drive this stuff out or they put on a flatbed and take it out? No, they got my car up the road. And then the, the flatbed, Chucky drove it to uh, Marinette okay. and put it in the garage and that's where they were going to go. Yeah, they wanted to tow it, but told them no. Too expensive for that. Uh, about it's probably really not. Maybe, um, well, if he was describing something up here again. I'll make it a different angle, maybe. So, did, did, where, did, where were you parked? Over in here? Did they take uh, it out? I was on the other side of the truck. That it was just pulled up here. Okay. So they took the cars that were in here and they took them out the road? Uh, they took the flatbed. See, my sister's kid, I told him to go and get some soda with my car, and they made it about a mile up the road, and they got pulled over, and they took it from there. Did they tell you that you had to leave the area here, or are they, I mean, I know they were watching you for a while, but now they're gone. Well, they told me I could uh, leave, I could do what I want, you know. It's not like you're under house arrest. Well, it seemed like it. I couldn't move, couldn't leave. And they were always there. I don't think they would have left man, me leave, you know, come down to it. Well, I think they would have stopped me. Because uh, otherwise they wouldn't have had that many. You know, they searched everything up here, so they didn't find nothing. They, they wouldn't find nothing anyway. Did, no. Did you ever think in 2003 that you'd be dealing with this all over again? No, not at all. Was, I thought it'd be all over. But then all of this, it's starting all over. You know? So, by Manitowoc County, you never know what will happen. I think we should be sad. I mean, he would. All right, I'm gonna get you.
Okay. Some questions to clear up with you. As far as when Teresa came to your place, did she go in the house at all? No. Okay. She's never been in your house? Yeah, she's been in my house. Okay, because yesterday I think I asked you that. And you said that she wasn't. No, not at that time. Maybe at first. A long time ago, I think. To come to the door. But to come inside and things like that, just come to the door or what? Yeah. But as far as coming in and doing anything? No. no. So she come to the house but didn't come inside the yeah. house. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, From Monday up until today, or actually Monday up until Saturday when you come up here, did you come up here at all again? No. Okay, so this is the first time that you've been up here yeah, for since that Monday? Yeah. Okay. Now, Kim has some other questions that he wants to ask you, and him and I have been talking, and he's got probably more questions than I do because he's trying to fill in some stuff as well, so uh, he's going to ask you some things. Steve, after she left, what did you do? What did you you know, if you can remember in the afternoon. I think I went, I put the book in the house, by the computer, and then I, I walked by my sister's and see if Bobby was home yet. But he just left. And what sister is that? Barbara. Was she home? No, she was at work. And Bobby had just left? Yeah. Go in her house? No. Okay. And what did you do after that? And then I went back home. And did you? And how long did you stay in your house? Quite a while. And my mom came down. A little while after that. Are we are we to the supper hour yet on Monday? No. No. Okay. Still in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. You know? Do you remember what you were doing in your house? Probably listen to the stereo. Okay. And then your mom came over? Yeah, with my mail. Do you remember the time that was? It was just, probably just a little while after she left, she came down. After, after Teresa left? Yeah. Not too long after? No, How long not did your too mom long. She brought your mail? Yeah, she brought my mail. Stayed, I don't know. Five minutes, somewhere in there, I don't know, I don't, don't remember. And then, and then you were home in the afternoon. Yeah. Did you go anywhere else? No. Did, um, during the did, during supper time, did you eat alone, or did you have? Did you eat with your mom? Uh, I think I ate up by Ma's house. Because a lot of times I could eat supper by Ma's house. <clears throat> Pretty much time. So you think you may have eaten supper at Ma's house? Yeah. Okay. What'd you do after supper then? I mostly was home at, all night. And you went back home? Yeah. Do you recall going anywhere? No, because Jody calls me all the time. Okay. And that's your girlfriend? That's my fiance. Does she have a certain time where she can call out? No, she can call out. 507 nine eight ten twenty three on County P. And do you remember getting a phone call from her on Monday night? Yeah, I think I got two of them. Okay. Do you remember those times approximately? I don't remember. Was it on your cell phone? No, it was on the house phone. Okay. And what's that line? What's that line? What's the phone number? Oh, 755. 755. Yeah, 4860. And that's right to your house? Yeah. So you think you, you may have called her, but as far as going into town or anything like that, you didn't on Monday No, night. no, I didn't go nowhere. You were either home or over at your mom's for yeah. a while, like for supper. Do you remember who else ate over at your mom's house? Was it just you and her? I don't know if Tucky was there or not. I don't know, me and Ma. Okay. What about Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday, I went up to work at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock? Yeah, I'm mostly up there. Up at the shop? Yeah. At 8 o'clock? Yeah. And who was there? Well, Ma was there. Uh, Dad comes home Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Chucky and Earl. And how long did you work on Tuesday? 
It was the, uh, around 5 o'clock. Till 5? Yeah. Okay. A lunch break in there? Yeah. Any, uh, did you leave? No. To go eat lunch? Okay, no, so we just went in the house. Went in the house. Uh, that's all that, when you say the house, is that mom's, mom's house? Mom's house, yeah. Okay. Does she usually make lunch? Yeah. Did you have to go run any errands or make any deliveries or anything like that while working on Tuesday? Do you remember leaving at all? No. Okay. And you think you're working full day? Yeah. Okay. How about Tuesday night after work? Tuesday night? Uh, I eat supper by Ma, I think. I think is, I that, is that common, Steve? Is that... How many nights a week yeah. would you estimate that you eat at mom's? Quite a few. More than four? Yeah, well, sometimes it's all week. Mom's a good cook? Oh, yeah. Every night? Yeah, well, who ain't? <laughs> Who's my My age? wife. <laughs> so you think you had supper at mom's on Tuesday? Yeah, I think I had hamburgers. Any, okay, anything uh, special happened Tuesday night? Went to my house walk. Oh, you did? No. Okay. And what'd you do in Mantua? Oh, that's when I visit her. On Tuesdays? Yeah. At the jail? Yeah, at 7 o'clock. Okay. And how long does that visit last? I'm mostly there, I don't know, hour, a little over hour. Anybody go with you? No. Who I'm would? just, I'm only on the visiting list. You're the only one in your family that's on the yeah. visiting list? Okay. Yeah. And the car you drove? Uh, my Pontiac. This grand? My grand, grand am, yeah. Okay. yeah. Did you go and make any other stops in Manitowoc? Uh, I don't know if I put gas in or not. What if I would have put gas? I don't. I don't remember. So you maybe maybe got gas. Would that be by the SA there? <coughs> it's on Main Center. Street. On Main Street. Yeah. That would have been after the visit. Oh, uh, yeah. If I did it, otherwise I mostly go right straight home then. Okay, you didn't stop anywhere else, uh, see anybody else or anything like that in Manitoba. No, okay. no. So it's right back home. So you're yeah. home by what time do you think you're home? Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. Went up there to work. Not back to the shop. Yeah. Is that usually eight o'clock then? Yeah, mostly eight o'clock. Okay. Well, between seven thirty and eight. Okay. But I'm always up there before eight o'clock. Who's working that day? All of them again. Okay. And all of them is who? Uh, Earl and Chucky. Okay. And Dad. What was it? Well, let's jump back to. Uh, Dad working then too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, he comes home Tuesday morning. From here? Yeah. Okay. Then he goes back up Thursday night. Once in a while, Friday morning. Okay. Well, usually Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody's working on Wednesday. Anything, and, uh, anything, did you go anywhere Wednesday? Or anything? No, just... Most of this week, I was been working in the garage. Okay. Except for Thursday. Thursday in the morning, oh, I got up about six o'clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, took a shower, got dressed. Um, it's almost like every day. Then uh, went up, and got the flatbed. So we go to the auctions right every here. Thursday. Right here. Yeah, with that flatbed. <coughs> Where's the auction at? Uh, Fond du Lac. I mean, uh, yeah, Fond du Lac. And who went with you? Just me and Earl. Okay. And that's on Thursday? Thursday mornings, yeah. Okay, let's jump back to Wednesday. You're working at the shop. Uh, if you get a, are you visited by anybody on Wednesday? Anybody, anybody come and see you? <coughs> Customers. Okay, that's it. Wednesday night, anything happened Wednesday night? 
What time's your work twelve? Let's say five o'clock mostly. So eight until five. Yeah. There was a cop there. I don't know if it was Wednesday night or Thursday night. Okay. So either one of those nights. Yeah. All right. And, and who was he? Do you remember? No, I don't. I don't remember. We, we, you know what department? Yeah. What was that? What department was he with? Uh, I think he was with Manitowoc. The sheriff's department. Yeah. Okay. And that was either Wednesday or Thursday. And what was he asking you about? If uh, Teresa, somebody uh, took some photos. Okay. And what? she was there. Where'd you talk to him at, the police officer? Uh, right outside the door, oh, on Ma's door. Ma's door. Yeah. So you had Ma's when he came? Yeah. Yeah, I was eating. Okay. Was that supper time? Yeah, that's supper time. But he didn't he ask me what time she was there. That's what he's asking about? Yeah. If she was there and what time, I told him. Okay. And then he left. Okay. Did he? Uh, he didn't. He didn't ask to look around or anything like that. No. No. And he didn't go into your house or anything like no. that. No. Okay. And you just talked to him at. Right there. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Thursday, you go to the auction, the auto yeah. auction, and you guys come back again by supper time. No, we're back. I think we got back. Okay. Take anything to the auction? No. Right. You're going to empty? No. Did you bring anything back? No. Okay. Shit was too high. <laughs> so it was a no, no sale, huh? No. Now that's why it's like that. And Thursday night, anything? <clears throat> Thursday night? You remember? Uh, Is no. your dad gone then? Thursday night he's not. He's yeah. gone. Yeah. I can't remember. Okay. Uh, and then on Friday, again work. Work. What time to what time? Eight o'clock to five o'clock. <clears throat> then we loaded up the flat bed and put our TV on there and everything. TV on the flat bed? Yeah. For what? Right, right up here. This is going my brother's cabin. Did you come up here on Saturday? Huh? You I came up here Saturday morning. So you loaded a TV on a flatbed so Chuck could bring it up yeah. Friday? Yeah. That was after work? Yeah. Whose TV? It was Ma's old one. Where was that at? At Mom's? At Ma's. Okay. What else did you load up on there, anything? Uh, no, the rest of it was done. The, the insulation was all on there and everything else. So it was all loaded. All we had to do was the TV and tie it down. Friday, you're working, and then at, at some point, um, you and, is it um, Earl are sighting in a rifle or something? That was Friday. Is that Friday? Friday. Okay, is that after work or during no, the day? During the day. Okay, and, and where do you guys do that at? Down in the pit. Okay. Or the you, crush cars. Okay. What time was that about, you think? So, lunch time or? No, it was after lunch. So sometimes when you're actually on probably uh, between one and three maybe. So during the time that you're saying that you're working, you could be out doing other things of your own leisure type stuff. No, just you wanted to sign it in for hunting. So you just took a break from work and went did out and did it for five minutes. Yeah. What kind of what kind of gun? Thirty out of six, I think he's got. Several. Cars. Several. Yeah. Okay. And there's a crusher down there too? Yeah. Who operates that crusher? It's from Norbs. Norbs salvage. 
in Denmark. So you guys borrow it or what? They all day burning over from Russia. So it's a separate entity of... Yeah. How long has it been sitting there? Maybe a month. So they, just leave, they leave it on scene and then they come and operate it? Yeah. Well, once in a while, you know, Arnold does it, you know. But for the most part, do you guys do it then? No, mostly they do it. But sometimes... See, they don't use... They don't need it right now. So mm -hmm. they left it there. So when they need it, they come and get it. At your place, either yourself, Earl, or Chuck, who else crushes cars? Norms. Mostly it's only Earl and me once in a while. We're down there. To crush cars? Yeah. The okay. one's down there right now, we did. When's the we last time it. you guys crushed cars? Probably last week. What days? I don't remember. How many cars you guys have? Uh, I think there's three or four loads down there. What's a, how many is a load? I think about 12. So you guys did three or four loads last week? Well, no. There's some last week because we're cleaning up on, on the top. And we got to take the motors out and everything else. How many cars do you think you would have crushed last week? Maybe 12. Okay. Did, 15. They, did they go anywhere? No. They all stayed on the site? Yeah, they're all there. Chuck or Earl helped you? No, oh, just Earl. Just Earl? Yeah. Was he doing them by himself or with your help? Oh. Um, I helped him a little bit. He uh, cleaned them up on top. When you're saying clean them, it means take no. them out? Yeah, motors and trannies and gas tanks and tires. Yeah. Besides you guys doing them, then Norbs does them as well. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Norbs does the, the most work. But you know how to operate it. Yeah. You and Earl operate it. Yeah. Okay. So Friday, you guys sight in the rifle, and then um, Friday night, when does Chuck come up here? Does he come up on Friday night? Well, Thursday night we had to go get uh, lumber. Okay. All right. Because we were leaving out the driveway, and I seen lights by my place. Okay. And when you say you seen lights by I your seen place, I seen lights. going away from your place. No, going by it. Okay. On what this way? On the long way. I seen it. Because we were going by the, almost by the stop sign. Okay. And I looked. And I spotted that. The light no pad again, please. Where is that? The big black thing underneath it. It's very bottom. Is that where the diagram is? No, I'm gonna do a new one. <laughs> we kind of chopped off that diagram yesterday because you put the houses, but you didn't put the yard and stuff. You know. Do me a favor. Take your time. Let's start with a new diagram. We'll put the road way up here. Okay. Okay. So Avery Road is right here. It's called Avery Road. This way, and then what 172 it is. And, you know, include the yard and all the property if you can. Take your time. I don't know how you were in art class. I was nah, terrible. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I did stick people. Uh, you got this in Avery Road? Yeah, just okay. make this kind of like a driveway or something okay. to the business area. Okay. Do whatever you want there. But we've, we've never been there, so it kind of helps us understand what you're talking about sometimes. So use up some space if we need more paper, we'll just uh, add some under to it.
Okay. Mm -hmm. This is all the yard. Okay, so now, this is the fencing area? Yeah. This That's is the what? Impound. Impound? Yeah. This is? Yeah. So that's the impound, right? Yeah. This is the fence? Yeah. This right here? That's the garage. Is this the garage that you refer to when you go to work? Is this the garage you go to? No. This one. Is that the shop? That's the shop. That's what you guys call the shop. Yeah. Okay, we'll call this the shop. What's this referred to? The storage. What do you keep in there? Uh, oh, laters, uh, starters. Uh, Things that you pull out of cars? Yeah. Okay. Radiators. This is Chuck's what? House. And right here? That's Ma's house. Right here? That's another garage. What's that garage for? That used to be the main garage. Oh, so it's the old shop? Yeah, the old shop. Okay, right here, that's the uh, impound? Yeah. Barb's house? Barb's house. That's you? That's me. Steve's house? Yeah. What's this? That's a garage. Is that like a car garage or yeah. what? Yeah. And then you have a pool too, right? Yeah. Where's that at? It's back here. So it's just like a pool, right? Now, as far as the pit, where's the pit at in all this whole thing? Uh, let's see. It probably goes. Uh, like this. Uh, then this way. This is all pit. This whole area here is yeah. all pit? Yeah. And when you call it pit, is it, uh, is it the yard pit? Yeah. Where all, all the cars, cars go? Yeah. Okay, so this is the junkyard pit. Yeah. Okay, down in this pit area where all the cars are, what kind of equipment's down in here? Anything? Well, there's the crusher's back here. Right here? Yeah. Then there's a pond. Where's the pond? Uh, about right in here. Do you want to draw the pond just a little bit? Okay. Okay, so there's the pond. What else is down there of importance? Any front end loaders or any things like that? No. Okay, how about what do you guys use to go from the garage to the pit and stuff? Do you drive your cars or golf carts like you have? Well, sometimes old beaters. Old beaters? Yeah. You have like like this, like yeah. that? Uh, golf carts and things too or Yeah, my mom's got one. We use that once in a while. What do you use that she for? Does. Oh hall parts down there. So that's for haul parts back and forth? Well, it ain't, but Ma, you know, she drives it. Okay, so where does she usually keep that at? That's in her garage. Where's her garage? Oh, I ain't got it. It's supposed to be right here. She has a garage right here? Yeah. Where do you guys usually store the golf cart right there, right? Yeah, in her garage. Let's go back to the van. Where'd you say the van was at? What van? Oh, right here on the road. Right on the road? Well, here's the, that's the property line. Mm -hmm. So it was right here. Okay. So this is where the van was. And where did she park, Teresa? Uh, when she came, uh, she parked on a, uh, right there. Okay. And that was a green SUV, right? Yeah. Which way was she facing? That way. This way? Yeah. And you saw her from, where did you see her from? The house. Your, your house. Yeah. Okay. And you were there since 11, you said, right? Yeah. Who else was home at Barb's house when she came here? Bobby was. Bobby? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else that was home that you know? Brian? Is that your other? No, there? Brian was working. So Bobby was home. Where was yeah. Barb at? Barb was working too. So Bobby was at the house. How do you yeah. how do you know he was there? After after I went over there. Yeah. So later, after you got done with her, yeah, and you went over to Barb's. You said, yeah. Who was at Barb's when you went over? 
where he was. And nobody else? No, and nobody why else just, well. Why did you stop the barbs? I don't know, I mostly just walk right over there. Pardon? I just mostly walk right over there. So after she leaves, you put the Auto Trader magazine in your house? Yeah, and I went over there. And you walked right over right away? Yeah. Well, he was gone. He just left. Bobby did? Yeah. Okay, so you walk over to Barb's though, right? Yeah. Who's there? After she left, when I walked over there, he, he left. Did you see him leave? No. So uh, he was already gone? Yeah, he just left. So nobody was at Barb's then? No. But? The first time, I don't know, when I come home or before that, I went over there and I talked to Bobby. 11 o'clock? Uh, somewhere in there. Okay. Uh, or it was after, it was 12 o'clock. Because I was outside for a while. Okay. Because you know, I went in the house. Okay. Barb's already gone. Yeah. Okay. But I know, I talked to him somewhere in there. I, I can't remember. But before she came, you talked about Yeah. Him. And then after she left, you went over by Barb's and Bobby left. Yeah. What did Bobby leave? What, what, did he drive somewhere? or take yeah. some, What did he drive? Yeah, he took his blazer. Do you know where he went? No. Okay. So when you were there at 11 o'clock, sometime after 11 o'clock, you actually talked to Bobby. Yeah. And then you go back to your place? Yeah. And then when the lady comes at 2 o'clock, you talk to her. Then you get done with her and you go back over to bars, but Bobby's gone because the blazer's gone? Yeah. Did you go inside there at all? No. no. Okay. Where'd you go from there? Went back home. Okay. And you stayed there up until supper time? Probably somewhere in there. Okay. There's so not much left for All right. Why did you? I think uh, I talked to Jody before I went by Ma's house to eat. Jody? My fiance. On the phone? Yeah. Before supper rather than after? Yeah. You think I, you talked to her after too or not? Yeah, I talked to her after that too. You think before? So well, she, I talked to her twice that day. She calls you? Yeah. Predetermined times? Yeah. What times do you have it set that you talk to her? I six o'clock. So you, first time she's in jail she has to call collect right yeah so do you guys have it arranged that she's calling you at a specific time yeah mostly at five o'clock you know every day almost or is she trying all day no she ain't trying all day because she knows I'm working all day okay so between five and six which normally you're out of work yeah you're waiting at your place for a phone call from her more yeah. than likely okay because most of the time you know at five o'clock when I'm done I go eat, so and then it's at six o'clock when she calls. We talked about the crusher, the pond, the whole junkyard pit. Is there anything else down there, like front end loaders or uh, any other equipment? How about do you guys burn stuff or cr crush stuff or what do you all your garbage and stuff like that? Mostly back in the corner. Where at? Back here. What's back there? This garbage. What people put their garbage in? What's this garbage? So you guys burn the stuff back there? No, we you don't just, burn nothing back you there. Just, you just toss garbage yeah. back there. Yeah. Do you guys burn anything? No. Okay. Do you don't have any burning murals or open pits? Or? Not in the pit, no. Okay. Down in your residential area where you guys live? Yeah. Do you guys burn your garbage? Oh, yeah, there's burning barrels in there. Where, where at? Uh, Mom just got one there. Mom's got one here? Yeah. And my sister's got some over here. Over here? And I think I got one out here. You got one out front? Yeah. Where at, right here? Yeah, someplace in there, yeah. Okay, and then where's your sister got some? Oh, uh, behind the house. Right here? Yeah. How many? Probably three, four of them. Three or four? Yeah, somewhere in there. She has kids. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of garbage. <laughs> yeah, so your mom has one, your sister has about three or four, you have one. Yeah. What about Chuck? Yeah, he's got one too. Where at? I think that's over here someplace. Okay, so this X equals burning barrels, right? How often do you guys burn? When's the last time you burned? Two weeks ago. Okay, what kind, what'd you burn, just regular garbage? Just garbage. Okay. How about uh, at Mom's, do you do any of their stuff from like, you know, take out their garbage, do no. things like that, help no. them out, burn burn their garbage, nothing no. like that? Okay. So then back in the pit area, 
You guys have a common area where you just dump garbage? Yeah. You guys don't do any burning back no, there? No. Okay. They asked you before about any vehicles, any front end loaders, any forklifts, things like that. Are those things part of your operation back there? No. That's all we, we keep our shit in the buildings. What do you have for equipment there? A loader, a skidster. That goes in the shop. Who, who operates those? We all do. Okay. You guys operate them all last week or no? Oh, yeah. What do you usually drive sometimes? The loader, the forklift. Did you do any work with the loader or forklift last week that you remember? Hey, you guys did some crushing, right? Well, I don't know if that was last week. That could have been the week before. That what? The week before last week. That what? That we crushed. So it may not have been this week at all that you crushed anything? No. No, it was the following week. Two weeks ago that you crushed? Earth. Oh, yeah, this whole week. Uh, it was, the must week. have been the week before, week before that we crushed them. Because okay. Earl worked almost all week to get them all the ones ready on top. Okay. Well, when you say you're in the garage, I'll be back. What's your what work you're doing? I mean, what are you doing to stay? Um, cleaning up the mess, sweeping, uh, taking parts off of cars. Okay. Just potsy stuff. Yeah. I take a transmission out, motor out, and everything. On Monday. After Teresa left, you didn't go back to work. Why not? Well, I made some couple phone calls. Okay, but you didn't go back to the shop. No, no. You stay in your house. Did they know that? Did uh, Chuck and Earl know that you're not coming back after lunch or whatever? No. And no, they didn't know that. Is it is it run real? I mean, do they do they care? Oh yeah, they care. No, okay, but I mean, did you? Can you just kind of come and go like that as you as you please? Is no, that, I'm that mostly, common, no. This is the first time that I stayed home. Okay. And you just, you just didn't feel like going back or what? No. I had a couple of phone calls I made. And, you know, I had to talk to her, her appeal attorney and everything else. Okay, so you talked to her PO and attorney? Yeah. Who's her PO? Uh, Shannon somebody. Out of Manitowoc? Yeah. And who's her attorney? Uh, Steve Wise or something? Steve Wise from Madison? Steve Wise? Wise? I don't know, something like that. So you talked to them, you make any other phone calls on Monday afternoon? No, I think I called them once or twice. And, and why is that? Why are you talking to her? Is it her attorney and her probation agent? I'm trying to get her out. Oh. And she's, the case is on appeal. Okay, how long does she have? Uh, she got nine months. She got three months left. And you want sooner. You want her out sooner. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw her picture. I'd want her out too. <laughs> okay. And you don't remember any other calls other than that, huh? That's... Not offhand. Okay. You'd have to check the phone. Did, did Teresa say anything to you about that she had to go to somebody else's house after your place? No. She didn't mention No, she never uh, tells me nothing. She doesn't say, oh, you know, I... Do you know so and so lives no, down the road because no. I got to go shoot their uh, no. shoot their car no. next? No. Door. No, it's just mostly a high and you know that's about it. Yeah, real short conversation. Yeah, it's like she, she takes the picture, she writes down the serial number, and that's it. And you pay. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes she gives a receipt. Yeah. Usually. Well, the last two times I didn't get none. Well, I didn't got no problems with him, and I've been doing it for. I don't know, a year, a little more than a year. So I figured, well, I, what I need it. Do you know someone named George Snipper? George Snipper? Yeah. Huh. She, didn't drop, she didn't say that name at all or anything? No. No. Uh, and I don't know if, if, if you answered um, Tony's question. When was the last time you drove that? Front end loader? Was it last week? Yeah, I 
Yeah, I think uh, I might have drove it, put a car on the side. Can you grab that off of there? Show me when you say put a car on the side where it was. Uh, see, here's the shop, so it would have been out of here and probably over here or, you know, back in here. Okay, but this is the fenced-in area. Yeah, this is the fenced-in area. This stuff's not. No. But there's, there's old cars out here. Yeah, and there's cars here, too. Okay. So most time, you know, I'll drop it off here, or sometimes they're newer, and they go up here. Okay. When was the last time you drove the golf cart? Golf cart? Um... Friday. Friday. And what'd you drive that for? I don't like, like it. Uh, That's definitely out by itself. That's definitely what I said. Yeah. <laughs> now, on Thursday night, you saw taillights. Can you show me on that diagram where the taillights are? <clears throat> well, they seem like they were behind me. So, in here. Is that a road? No, it's a hill. Okay. Is it but you could drive on it. Okay. And they were behind your house. That's what it seemed like. And they were coming? Which direction? Okay. The taillights were back here, so they had been going this way. Okay, what is back there? If you keep following those taillights. It's all a gravel pit. That's where all redounds here, and that goes out behind us. So is there an access road back there somewhere? Yeah, there's all, it's all open. It's open, so anybody could just drive on that. Yeah. Where did it come in from? Redounds pit. Okay, why don't you draw that back area of the pit? Kind of, like, if you were to come in from the back side, draw us a diagram of how you would come in from the back side. Is that Harry Q? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's a side road here. Uh, it goes like this. It's all blacked out. There's some houses here. Do you know who lives there? Just to give us some reference. I mean, do you know what the name of the road is? No, I can't remember what the name of the road is. Uh, Don's pit is here. He's got all uh, all machinery and all gravel here. Then they got a I don't know. There's a where a road goes back by us. Then you go this way. Let's see. This would be us from here. And there's a conveyor here. But you can go underneath that conveyor and get by us too here. Or this way. This way is all blocked off for what it was for. Maybe a month or so. And then this is all open. So you can go, okay. go anywhere. Really. So what business this is? That's Redon's. Redon's? Yeah. Redon. Redon? Redon. Redon's gravel? Yeah. And you said this is a conveyor? Yeah. Like a, to transport gravel? Yeah. Has been there for. And this is a, a, a road, or is your property? No, that's our property. So. So a person could essentially go down County Q, down to Redon's Gravel, you say? Yeah. And then drive in through the back of Redon's Gravel, yeah. underneath the conveyor, and it brings them to a. To the back of the chunk yard. And is that a gated thing or a fenced in thing or blocked off road, you said? No. That's just, they put a hill there because of the property line. Okay, so there's like a hill. So to get through that hill to get it back into your property. Well, I only go so far, then there's, it's this open. So you there's could. There's cars blocked. There's cars are blocking the area there. Yeah. So to drive in, you have to get past those cars. Yeah, otherwise we got a. We got a car there because we used to get gravel from Redon. Uh -huh. And sometimes we take that car out of the way and put it back, you know. And Just to block that road so you yeah, can't get in. Yeah, but then the other side is all open. Well, otherwise, you can go up you can go up on the hill. Uh -huh. And then I, I'm back over here. And you can get through there and everything else. Or you take this road and that, uh, there's a field there and you mm -hmm. can drive the field. So some person would really have to know their area back here to get back into that back area, right? I mean, I couldn't just think, okay, I want to drive back into Avery property. I'm going to, to, yeah, to poke my to, way. 
Batman. Yeah. I probably wouldn't be able to do it, would I? Yeah. I would? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, they got a, they caught a, quite a few people back there already. All right. You can talk about Sheriff's Department or whatever. Sure well, like yeah, Redont and then he calls the cops. And, well, and that's what we, you know, and that's what we're looking at because if, let's go back to that other, this map. Uh, what's, what direction is south on here? Uh, here? South would be on top, yeah. So where, where's north? Down here? would be here. So if I were to draw an arrow, where's north? Down here? Yeah. Okay. No. Do you know where her car was found? No. Okay, it's on that south property line by that berm. Is that that little hill you're talking about? That hill you're by the pond? Uh, no, I think it's by the pit. There's, you just said there's a hill or something? Or oh, there's a... Let's see. Uh, here's Chucky. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a road here. It goes down in a pit. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, there's a a property line that is built up, and then it goes all the way this way. All right. Where and they all dug. That's all dug out. Okay. Where are the cars parked back there on that cell site? They're all in here. Okay. And that's where that's where her car was found. So anywhere in here. No, I asked you about describing what she was wearing that day. Do you remember it all again? Did you think about that? I can't remember what she was wearing. Okay. And you didn't have any conversation with her other than? No. We never do. Did she ask you how much you wanted for the vehicle and no. stuff like that? No. How did she get that information? Well, we got it on a piece of paper. Who gave her a piece of paper? I did. Okay. You didn't tell me that yesterday. So... She's there. She's outside taking a picture, you said, right away. Yeah. You go outside. What do you have with you that you're bringing to her? Well, that's the piece of paper with the money. Okay. See, the money's put it in a piece of paper. And, and you did that? Yeah. Who wrote up the piece of paper? I did. Did you do it inside the house before she came? Well, that was done, I don't know, maybe Saturday. Who did that? I did that. Okay. What does uh, say on the piece of paper? Uh, uh, for sale, 1989. Dodge van, mm -hmm. uh, make an offer, and it had the phone numbers. And you had the money in there and everything else, yeah. and you gave it to her? I uh, had my, her number and my cell phone number. Okay. And as far as what she was wearing, I mean, if you could just close your eyes and think about it, you know, can you think about what she was possibly wearing? And then you gave her the money while she's getting you to book, or did you give it to her right away? I gave it to her right away. When she's taking the pictures? Yeah. How did you get to the point of going from the van where she's taking the picture to her vehicle for the book? I'm walk. Did she tell you that you, you asked her for a book? No, she said I, I got the book in the truck. Okay. And every time that she comes, she gives you a book? Yeah. So then you follow her towards the truck? Yeah. What happens next? Well, she gives me the book. She opens the door up? Yeah. Okay. Does she get inside or she just reach inside? No, she opened the door. She got in and she reached over. So she closed the door? No. She leaves the no, door open? The door's open. She sit down inside? Yeah. She reaches over to where to get the book? Yeah. The passenger side. And then she just hand it out to you? Yeah. Does she, then she, does she get back out of the truck again? No, no. And she just leaves? No. Yeah. She shuts the door and leaves. Is, is Bobby home then or no? Yeah, Bobby's home. Okay. And does he come out and, or anything, or does he see you leave, or see her leave? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. But you know he's home? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's home she, at that point. When she leaves, he's home. Yeah. And how far away from Bobby's vehicle are you, you think? Well, his vehicle is sitting by her garage. So that's only... Like from here to where? Where we're looking right here? Uh, from here? Yeah. Probably the other side of the, the shop there. The other side of the blue shop? Yeah. So probably about, that's about what, maybe uh, 80 feet? And, and you know he's home though, right? Yeah. When she's leaving. Yeah. Okay. 
and this one I walked in the house and come back and he was gone. So just in that moment of yeah. you, you saying goodbye to Teresa, yeah, and going to your house with the paper and coming back, you notice that he's gone. Yeah. But while she's giving you that thing, he's still there. Yeah. So he, okay. Within, I don't know, that second. So was her vehicle running, and his is quiet, uh -huh. he probably, at the same time, almost. Okay, so but the time that it took you to walk from her vehicle to your place to drop out that thing, yeah. and then to walk right back outside again? No. Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Okay. Do you know where she's at? Who? Teresa. Oh, no. And did you have anything to do with her at all disappearing? Or no, anything? no. Okay. And the only time that she's ever been to your house is just a knock on the door? No, that's it. Tell just us about that time. When was that? How long ago? Fifteen times that you've had contact with her. When do you think it was that she actually came to the door? How many times? The last time. Monday. She came to the door? No. Okay. I seen her. The well, last time she knocked on the door, well, oh, that was probably for my car. How long ago would that have been? Week two. Okay, but she never came inside? No. And seeing that you remember about your car when she knocks on the door, what time of day was that that she did that contact with? And that was around 3 o'clock. So that was like, again, you called up and said, hey, I have a vehicle to sell? Yeah. And they came over that same day? Yeah. You're at home? Well, I don't know if I made it that Monday. I could have made it during the week. Okay. One. So she came over, knocks on the door. Yeah. And what happens? I got the money. I mostly got it all made out. It's on the bar or by the computer. Okay. So that's all done. Then I grabbed that and then give it to her. Outside? Yeah. And then she give you another one of those books again? Yeah, she always does. And she took pictures of your vehicle? Yeah. But that was about 3 o'clock. Because I called her, and then she called me back. Okay. On that one. Because she was going to be running late, so it would be about 3 o'clock, she said. So she runs late, she gives you a call? Yeah. But she was never inside the house. It's the only time that she's knocked on the door that you recall, or was there other times that she knocked on the door too? Probably was. Yeah, there probably was. Maybe at first. I, I can't. That's so long ago. Yeah, and it's always been her. Yeah, it's always been her. Yeah. Did she call you on Monday prior to coming over at two o'clock? Not this time, no. Last. You sure? Yeah. You sure she didn't call and say I'm going to be early or I'm going to be late or anything like that? No. <clears throat> Whose number is seven? That's my sister's. Would she have called her for any reason? That's the one whose the, the van is under. Is that Barb? Yeah. Yeah, the van is underneath her name. So the contact information on that sheet of paper you had for how much you want the van for and stuff, whose number was on there listed? That was Barbara's and mine. So both your numbers? Yeah. Okay. That's how we mostly do it. Okay. She called this number on Monday morning just before noon. Was, and Barb wasn't home, though, huh? No, she was at work. Bobby would have been home, yeah. right? Yeah. You were not in your sister's house no. at, at a quarter to twelve? No. She never, Teresa never said, oh, by the way, I just called and talked to your nephew or anything like no. that. No. She never said that. See, he works third shift. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes he's sleeping and sometimes he's up. About the receipt. You said for the most part, up until at least two times, you always gotten a receipt from her, right? Yeah. This last time you didn't ask for a receipt? No. When I put my Pontiac in, I thought I don't need no more now. I said, what for? Okay. Well, I got good service with the truck. Mm -hmm. I trust them. When she did write out a receipt, I mean, she she have it to you right away? Or yeah. She got it for a vehicle? or she? You know, no, she had it done all the way. She had it done yeah. beforehand? Yeah. So when you at the point up until you're selling your Pontiac, you always got a receipt from her, but then at the Pontiac you said, hey, I don't need a receipt no more. Yeah. So you said, no more. I don't need no more. So then it comes Monday. 
she doesn't prepare a receipt for you at all? Well, I don't know. She doesn't give you a receipt? No. Right? No, okay. So she must have it with her or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I told her I don't need no more. What, a, what for? Okay. <coughs> and then, like you told me, that your sister asked you if you'd give her the money because she didn't have it or yeah. what? Yeah. Okay. She didn't have it to spare, so I said, well, that ain't no problem. I can handle that for now. I'm going to jump up and make a phone call. Can you have him uh, initial or sign and date those sheets that sure. drew that for us? Sure. Okay. Just give you a second. I'm going to throw my initials on there. How's your dad doing? Is he doing all right? Yeah, he's doing better. <laughs> How much did he have to drink last night? Pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. He's a nice guy, though. I like him. Yeah. He's probably seen a lot more in accident scenes than I've ever seen my whole life. Right? <laughs> you ever yeah. As a kid growing up, I mean, you and I are about the same age. I was born in 61. You were born in 62. So we, we went through the 70s and the 80s there. Yeah, that's where the good days. Yeah. So, God, did, like, Dad always do towing then for the no. sheriff's department and everybody else? No. So I'd come home with stories? But now we don't get nothing. Really? We haven't been got none. Why not? Since I had that sexual assault with Penny Bernstein. So so that cut into the business? Uh, oh, yeah. That sucks. Well, they don't they don't call Avery no more. They call everybody else. You know, have a, can have an accident right down the road, and they'll call somebody else. Don't you say, hey, I put us on the list? I mean... Chucky and Earl, they complain all the time. And they won't put you on the list? Well, they put us on the list. We get all the abandoned ones, but half of them we don't get either. We get the junk. Have you called them on it? Oh, yeah, quite a few times. And they still date? No. Oh, that sucks. That's why I think they're out to get me. Well... I don't... With this other case with the lawsuit and everything, I, I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, I guess, you, you know, you probably wonder yourself, but... But you got to take and think about the factual things. I mean, someone actually goes through the problems and troubles to put her car on your property? You know? I mean, I'm not from there. I have no allegiance to the idea of what Manitowoc County does. And it's like, I'm trying to understand this, Steve. It's like, wait, this is pretty wild. Yeah, well, uh, when I talk to the TVs, too, they don't understand it. I mean, you know, we're not young guys that are just basically thinking about things that we might have saw on TV and try to apply it to real life. We got some experience in our back pocket, you know. As far as your relationship with your fiancé, it's a good relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes we argue over the phone, you know, but... Yeah. I did a lot of that, too. Yeah? I did quite a bit of that at first. Arguing? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You got a temper? You're not Irish, right? No. Well, I got a little Irish in me. Well, yeah, I got a lot. But since I've been out... You know, I get a... I don't know, I talk loud once in a while, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. Oh, she, she talk loud to her or no? Yeah, especially when she was drinking. Yeah. That's how we got in that, that scrap. And uh, I just kind of pushed her on the couch, you know, tell her to sit down. And that's why they arrested me, because I touched her. Just how long was that? Mm. Over a year ago, I think. And she's on probation, right? Now she is, yeah. What's she on probation for? For that drunken driving. Is that the only issues that she has? Yeah. Just drinking and yeah. driving? Yeah. Mm. she work? No. Well, how'd you guys meet? Gas station. <laughs> really? <laughs> she working? Yeah, or just... me and my sister. No, she was just there. Uh-huh. And she had her car there. And just got talking, and next thing you know, and hooked up, eh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You but got... we had her, had her car, and... I went with her, I drove her car, and then my sister went home. But we uh -huh. stopped for a soda, me and my sister, so I bought her a soda. So I said, I ain't coming, I'm going with her. So, then we came out by me, you know, I had to push my old blazer and everything else because I blew the motor up. Uh -huh. and then I smashed her front end a little bit, and uh, she was a little mad at me. You know, the first time I met her, uh -huh. and I do all of this, and I got that all done. No, we stayed there for a little bit. I showed her the ice shack when I was living in at first. Then we went for a ride. Then it was foggy out. 
uh, put in the ditch. Well, long story straight, she got the accused for it because I took off. I had Barbara pick me up, and she went that way. And before I knew it, I got arrested. So she took one for you, eh? Well, it ain't no fun to put the car in the ditch mm. when it's falling down. Yeah. Now that's what she's fighting now. Well, he, uh, they're going to find anything inside your place if they look. Well, well they were in already. I huh? let them in it. I'm just asking. I let them in it already. I ain't got nothing to hide. What about the, uh, this girl's family? I mean, what would you want to tell them? I wish they'd find her. Oh, I wish she'd show up. Mm -hmm. So we can know, see what really happened. Now, why she go? Or what? You know, because I know my family went through hell. Mm -hmm. I, I can figure what they went through. I know when I was married to my wife, we went through a lot of stuff. I can figure how they are. It ain't not nice. So you were married before? Yeah. Is this before you went to prison? Yeah. Any kids? Five. Really? <laughs> you have five kids? Yeah, a set of twins and that. No kidding. But I only see one now. The rest of them, they want nothing to do with me. How old's your oldest? Oh, now you want me to do that? <laughs> no, just roughly. 21, 22. Oh, no, you're like me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So then, of course, from what went on back then, I imagine it worked on your relationship with your kids and oh, yeah. your wife and yeah. your family, eh? Is that yeah. what basically broke you guys up? Mostly, yeah. Yeah? No. The kids live around it? No, no. Yeah, there are three of them are around. Yeah. Another two are in the army or whatever it is. Really? We had twins, eh? Yeah. Twin boys? No. Yeah. No kidding. That's the ones who were in there. Or they weren't getting in trouble and everything else. And uh -huh. I guess they had to do something. Wow. Boy. No, I just wish all of this shit was over already. Well, you have to admit, you know, take a step back and take a look at it. Yeah, it's look at it. The goddamn vehicles there has been found and... It ain't gonna happen again. Yeah. There'll be a fence up around it. But yeah, you, if, you know, it's, it's easy for me to say because I'm not you. But if you try to disassociate yourself from it and take a step back and say, okay, let's say I'm not me for a moment, I'm looking at this big picture, what do I think, you know? It's hard to do, but yeah, if you can, is. take a step back and take a look at it and say, God, you know, what's... Kind of see which way you'd go. You know? Now, of course, you have an image. You know what I'm saying? And the idea of saying, hey, uh, I'm Steve Avery. This is what I'm all about, and this is what I'm not all about, you know. This family, of course, is looking at God. You know, the last person that she's seen by is Steve Avery. You know, is he being truthful to this matter? Is he being helpful to this matter? And, you know, is he being sympathetic to our needs, right? So, you know, I mean, you're talking to us. You're, you're telling us exactly what we need to know as far as her last uh, being there. And... Uh, Hopefully, you know, next week we're all talking about the idea that this is, you know, we found her, you know. And, uh, hopefully she's safe. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Not for my sake, but for her family's sake. Mm-hmm. Because I know how it feels. And my other kids don't want nothing to do with me. And that's almost the same thing. I don't see him. When you had your other thing, you know, did you offer to do anything like take a polygraph or anything like that, or did you take one? What happened? Well, I passed it. You passed your polygraph? So you were pretty comfortable with back then taking a polygraph to show that you were being truthful? They don't do shit, though. That's the only thing. What do you mean? They ain't reliable. Who 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 offered you the polygraph back then? Law enforcement or your attorney or who? My attorney from Milwaukee. And you passed it. And this is when you're already in prison or Yeah, I was in Green Bay. How long were you in prison for then?
couple of years, I think. And law enforcement never offered you a polygraph? No. I set one up mm -hmm. in Manitowoc when I was there. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the, my attorney canceled it. So they, the law enforcement, if they actually would have done a polygraph back then, may have found you to be not deceptive, to be truthful about this whole thing, and worked out from there, eh? My opinion? Yeah. Uh, from Manitowoc? I don't know. I ain't got too much faith in Manitowoc. Mm. But back then, though, you weren't colored by that. No. No, that's why I wanted to set it up. Right. You know? But so now, give it a shot. it's a whole different story. I mean, you don't yeah, have to Yeah, it's all different. You right. You know? Huh. You spent a lot of good time of your life in prison? Yeah, it's something I shouldn't talk. Yeah. But I'm pretty upset. Now I got all of this. I'm trying to stay calm and handle it the right way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I worked on a missing persons case last year. A 40-some-year-old guy from up in this area. He's probably 50-some. I don't know if you saw that. Last September it was. The guy ended up bringing his uh, daughter-in-law for a ride down to Chicago. She had to take a flight down to Arizona. And no one seen or heard from him after that. He ended up uh, being in Iowa. <laughs> you know? Like two months later. <laughs> but... You know, people are really different. You guys brought that little truck up from the... No, my home? dad bought that a long time ago. Yeah? Yeah. That must have been fun to run around in. Yeah, it is. Well, he's got one at home. And that we just took home. Yeah? That's got to be fixed a little bit. How many cars do you think you guys got down the yard? I don't know. A couple of thousand. Really? How old do you think the oldest one is? I don't know. In the 40s, maybe. You still got some from the 40s and 50s? A lot of do you guys go on the uh, network of... No. No? Because isn't that a big deal now where you could go on network and list your cars as a, and, and through other salvage operators and all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, we didn't get that far yet. No? Or they're starting to get up there now. Because that's a really good business. Yeah. I don't know about any more. <laughs> yeah, so Earl and Chuck are basically the people that run the business now. Yeah. 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 And does that go with the market, like as far as metal? Metal changes every day as far as how much for scrap metal and things? Mm. No, they ain't too much in, in that. No? Just when they get enough, then they get rid of it. Yeah, I guess you just can't sell too much at one time and you know, with the taxes and the insurance and... Yeah, but it's a family affair, eh? Yeah. So as Bobby, you said works midnights, where does he work? Hamilton's. Furniture? Uh, I think the one on Moyle Drive, I think. Mm. Whatever it is. You do any fishing and stuff too, or no? I haven't been doing that lately. No? Where do you usually do fish? I used to when yeah. I came out. On the lake? First. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that break wall in Manitowoc? The what? The break wall. Going into the lake. How it's been redone to the oh, whole break wall. Yeah, lake. it looks nice. Yeah, it is nice. I remember I spent a real hot day down there once. I used to look for a DNR a long time ago. Sat down there working fishermen. But I used to like Manitowoc. I used to like Two Rivers a lot. I used to do a lot of drinking when I was down in Tree I used to go from bar to bar in the winter time. The shed. I don't know if you remember Memorial Drive, the mall. I'm in a little strip yeah. mall there. Used to have a bar there called the East 40. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. I don't remember that. Yeah. And then, uh, was it uh, Godfathers or Goodfellows? Downtown, Manitowoc? Capone's? Yeah. Uh -huh. But the linebacker? That's still around, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. And I told you about Fatso Subs. Yeah. Yeah, that place was pretty good. <coughs> so. 
So you've been getting a lot of phone calls and stuff from the press? Yeah. How they been? I well, guess pretty decent. Yeah. But you can't tell them much. Just what you know. Yeah, exactly. Sorry about that. That's okay. Now we're just shooting the breeze. You know what would help us out? If you would write out a statement as to the events of Monday, Tuesday. I think you could do that. But I think I can give enough. Okay. Well, and my lawyers, I don't know if they'd go for that. Okay. We don't talk to them. Any more questions? I think we I think we covered. Did I miss anything? We covered everything. Do you have any questions? You gotta, I wish it was over already. Well, we talked about that. <laughs> and there's going to be <clears throat> on the line. There's going to be some things that you know we're going to have to ask of you again, probably. So we want to we want to make sure. I mean, um, her car's found on your family's property there, and that's very much a concern of ours. So oh yeah. You're going to have to bear with us a little bit. I hope can do we that. have your, you know, continued cooperation yes, here. you do. And sometimes there's things that are going on that we don't control, okay? So in the idea that if something comes up and you say, God, that Tony O'Neill or that Kim Strelinsky, you know, why don't you understand something? This picture is a lot bigger than both of us, all right? Oh, so yeah, a lot of times our bosses are basically directing and orchestrating what's being done. Don't take it and put it towards us and the idea that we're the ones that are controlling that part of it, okay? I want you to understand something. When I came here the first day and said to you, hey, look, it, I have no intentions of placing you under arrest or taking you to custody or nothing like that. I just want to talk to you about this missing person. Hello? I'm up front, Steve, okay? If I'm going to arrest you or take you into custody, I'm going to tell you that. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, yeah. So as far as any distrust or anything like you may have with other officers in Manitowoc, I'm giving you my word that if I'm going to do something with you, I'm going to tell you up front. And I'll make that promise to you. Okay. All right? Because I gain nothing out of anything. I don't get no extra toaster at the end of the <laughs> no, I don't think person, so. Okay? <laughs> so even the same way, let's keep it open. You have questions and you're saying, boy, you know, he said this, but I wonder what he meant by that, you know. Give me a call. I check my voicemail. Steve calls me up and says, hey, I'm just, I have a question about this. I'll give you a call and say, hey, Steve, here's the story. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to make any promises to you. I'm not going to do anything that's you're going to say to yourself, boy, that O'Neill screwed me over. I won't do that. You've been through enough of that. Yeah. Is that a deal? That's a deal. All right. Anything else, Kim? Well, I was going to ask him, you know, if, um, if, he, if, you know, I think you've indicated that anybody could have access to the back of that yard and, and could have put that car there. And, you know, we want to make sure that we're covering all the bases. Who do you think could have done that. Who would be out to get you, Steve? The truth? Yeah. Manitowoc County. The Sheriff's Department? Kazarek. What's his name? Kazarek. Kazarek. And that's something that he could do. Oh, yeah. Anyone else? Say it's not law enforcement. I get along with everybody. That's what, that's what I'm asking. Do you have any, do you have any known enemies? Since you've been uh, out, no problems, no disputes, um, no, no conflicts, no fights or anything with no. anybody? No, no I get no along. No threats? Mm -mm. Everybody calls me. They're all nice. and I don't think I had one, one bad mark. Even when I walk in the stores or whatever. Okay. So nobody comes to mind other than, other than this deputy. Yeah, we're we'll trying to do this. Okay. That's all I can think of. And a lot of times in dealing with cases like this, and the family's important, and we do this for your family as well as any other family, they're going to ask us questions. They're going to say, okay, how is Mr. Avery? Has he been this way? Has he been that way? How can you trust him? Okay? Is he being truthful? And of course you know the question's going to be is, how, how do you know he's telling the truth? Okay? We talked about polygraph. To validate you being truthful, OK, 
okay? Understanding that, if we use polygraph and it shows you're deceptive, we can't use it anyhow. But to tell this family that Steve Avery volunteered to take a polygraph and he was truthful, and we're going to hold you up as being truthful and say, we validated Steve Avery and everything that he's told us, and he's been truthful to us. You know how that family would accept that? Really well, okay? Because not only are they saying, we believe in him, we're going to validate him being truthful. That's an option that we have, Steve. I would take advantage of it. Although you weren't given that opportunity back then, this is a good opportunity to hold yourself up again and say, hey, I'm being truthful to this matter. For this family, and validating yourself being a truthful person so we can move on to this whole deal about possibly someone else being involved in this, to finalize everything that we've talked about. We want to be able to say we validate you being truthful about this whole thing. Would you take a polygraph exam? It'd take about two and a half, three hours. And I'll tell you what, you know who the polygraph examiner is? Oh, me. I made you a promise already, didn't I? There's no fear from me. I can talk to a lawyer and see what he thinks. Okay. But I got no problem with it. Okay. Because I think you need to. I think you need to show this family that you're being 100% cooperative, 100% truthful. And I want to stand behind you and say, no matter what you've ever heard about Steve Avery, no matter what's going on with this whole situation, I'll tell you what, if he was given this opportunity way back when, it probably would have cleared him just as well as it did today. That's what I want to be able to do. But you need to take that step. All right? Okay. We done? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Take care. I'll uh, talk to the lawyer. Can he go answer it? And yeah, okay, we're done. I can give you a call. Do that. Either way. Okay. All right? You know, as long as it doesn't put me out, that's fine then. No, you know. I want to validate you being yeah. truthful. Yeah. So I got no reason So we can get past this Avery family. All right? Yeah. All right. Think about okay. it. And remember, if they say, hey, look it, we're going to advise against it, Still take your, think about the idea, you're a grown man, you do what you want to do. Trust in me, okay, I get no toaster. And I tell you what, we, we take this polygraph exam and I'm going to hold you up being truthful, I'll stand right behind you saying you are. Yeah, I got no problem with it. Okay, no cost to you. Two and a half hours, right in Marinette. You call me. In fact, I'll give you my cell phone number, give me my card. You got two of them. Two of them. <laughs> How'd you rate? <laughs> okay. All right. We'll be here for a little while yet, but that's okay. Go take yeah, a phone call. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Okay, thanks. Bye. Go ahead and say your first name and spell your last name. Uh, Stephen Avery, A-V-E-R-Y. Okay. I'm sorry, Jen, can you turn this way more? We'll sure. Look at the camera. Thank you. So this has been kind of a, a crazy time for you right now. I can't even imagine what you're going through. What are you, what are you thinking when it comes to being kind of the center of this investigation, it feels like? Uh, what I feel like, that they're going to railroad me again, set me up. Or they set me up the first time. I had to do it 18 years to prove my innocence, you know. Now they want to redo it and see if they can get me or plant evidence so I don't get back out, you know. Who do you, who do you specifically think is framing you and why? Manitowoc County, the Sheriff's Department. Plus maybe the old sheriff has got something to do with this too. Why? They really never did like the Avery's, you know. With the salvage yard and with the business, you know, there could be a accident right there in the road. They won't call us. They'll call somebody else to come and get it. You know, we don't get much record calls from them no more. You know, it's always been like that for quite a while. Now, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but what are you feeling, just knowing that you were in prison or in jail 18 years, 
what's going on now? I mean, your family's going through a lot. You're going through a lot. I mean, does it sadden you or what? You, what's going through your mind? What kind of emotions? Have you talked to your mom about it? What? Yeah, they don't know which way to go. Or they're all puzzled. out and sometimes they just, they're so stretched out and everything else, you know. My brother too, my younger brother, he don't know what to do. I mean, he don't know which way is up and down, you know. And my mom and my dad and my other brother, my sister, they can't even go home. You know, they got to stay someplace else. Have you had a time where you, you kind of just sit back and you're, or you're, you're up at night, late at night, and you're like, why is this happening to me? Yeah, I'm trying to figure, I'm still trying to figure that out. Why they always pick it on me? You know, I've been most of the time working up there, helping them, and then going back home and, and seeing my fiance at, in the jail. You know, that's another case. What they're using against me too. Because I told them I was driving a car, and they didn't believe it. They believe that she is. It don't make a difference what I say or what a, my family says. You know, it's been like that for I don't know how long. Okay. Now tell me, you know, there's been speculation um, around who has access to the yard. Do you think your two brothers could have had anything to do with this? No, no, not at all. What anybody can go down the road at nighttime and when everybody's sleeping, you know, and just drive in. My brother ain't gonna hear nothing. You know, my mom and dad, they sleep, you know, they don't hear that much. And down by me, it's way in the pit. And on the other side, you got the crusher. They're crushing gravel almost half of the night and early in the morning. So you wouldn't hear nothing drive in or nothing. So wh who do you think did something with her? I got no idea. If the county did something or whatever and trying to plan evidence on me or something, I don't know. Um, I won't put nothing past the county. Anything like to add? Well, I wish she'd come out and show her face so she can go home and be with her family. You know, that's probably the main part that I wish how that she'd come. How much money has your family lost because of the business being shut down? Quite a bit. Then everything what they did out there, if they're, they're wrecking parts, and that's their money. You know, how are they supposed to live? You know, now, with all it is, who's going to buy a part? You know, they probably have to shut it down. We're going to have no business. You know, and it's all up in the air. Okay. Do you, do you think like thousands of dollars so far? Or oh, yeah, I'd say a couple thousand dollars. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your, your talking you. to me. Did you want to get any other talk. couple, yeah, couple, couple shots? Sure. Probably back there. Uh, yeah. Your mom's on the road. He felt frustrated. And, uh, you know, when I get more attention, and, and then I get kind of like attitude and maybe upset. And I get Stuck up here. I thought, Ma rolled up with me, so she's not driving. I think. So, it's tough. How about your dad? Yeah. I met him recently. He's sick of the phones and everything else. And the phones, people calling. Yeah. Why, why have you talked so so much? Why are you so open to talk? I don't trust my own phone. I'm going to get out here and do something. I might as well do something. You know? If I don't do nothing, they'll probably do the first time. And I didn't do it too much. And I think this time maybe I'll speak up a little bit more. Because I know they're after me. With all that money, you know, they're gonna lose. They're probably gonna do something to me. That's all I can think. Alright? Fine. You all done? Okay, you're yeah. free to go. Thank you. Yeah, Shadi, you Thank can you. your truck. That's Shady. about it. Jane, can you grab my tripod? They're all, never mind. No, it's all right. Okay, thank you. Well, have a good one. You too.
Well, I'm not sure. Shouldn't be much longer, though. Shouldn't be much longer. I would think by the end of today it'll be ready. What, what, what car was it again? Grand Am. Grand Am. That would be my guess. Those guys work pretty fast. Down the road. Behind Chucky down the road. That road goes 
behind without you. Without a pit. Without a pit. And so the road goes like this. Yeah. And where are the crushed cars? And here's Chuck's place. Yeah, the crushed cars are right below the hill. Right below the hill. Yeah. Okay. There's a crusher there too? Yeah. Okay. So you were shooting from where at the crushed cars? Well, uh, Earl parked a truck on uh, some place in here. Uh huh. I'll put it on the road in the cars. Sure. And we're shooting that way. Okay. Shoot that way in the cars. There's a bunch of crushed cars down there. Yeah. 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 Where did those come from? Did you crush those or who crushed those? I well, mean, Earl crushed them and then he crushed them and there was sure. still some on top that he crushed. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys normally crush your own cars or does no. somebody usually crush them? Probably Norbs. Norbs does? How come you decided to crush them this time yourself? Well, you left the crusher there. Oh, okay. Is there a good one to use the whole thing with it? So you just, is there a key in that thing or something? Yeah. Okay. So you just, he doesn't mind if you use it? No. Okay. Uh, I noticed the one time I was down there that there was a car in there, in the crusher. A blue car. Yeah. Who oh, crushed that one? I did. You did? What did you crush that one? week or something or uh, today's Wednesday did you crush it yesterday no obviously uh, not or if you couldn't have crushed it on Saturday right <laughs> so I'll sink out before Saturday you went up north when when did you go to leave going north Saturday morning Saturday morning about what time okay did you drive up there yeah okay who went with you my mom and Ryan did they all ride with you or yeah. not? Which, in which car did you drive up there? I right now. Okay. How'd your truck get up there, that flatbed? Chucky brought that up Friday night. So Chucky was there all day Friday and he came up Friday night? Yeah. And you came up Saturday, Saturday morning. morning? Okay. All right. So... So how many times do you need this story, though? Uh, I haven't... I've told it a hundred times already. I know. I haven't heard it, though, Steve, you know. Oh, no, I'm, I'm trying to be as fair as you as I can. It's only I'm getting sick of the saying it all. I know, but it's only fair if I know it from you because if I go off and other people are saying, you know, that that's not a good thing. Okay, so I need to. I'd rather know it because if let's say somebody else tells me something and screw a little bit of the story up, that's not fair to you. Okay, so I want you. I want to hear it from you so I know exactly what happened. You know how the old game telephone works? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't want that to happen. You know, so I want to hear it directly from you. Okay, just so I know. So on Friday, um, Saturday morning you went north. So let's go back to Friday. Did you crush that car on Friday? No. Okay. How about Thursday? I don't remember what day it was. Okay. Was it last week? It doesn't look like it was in there real long, but no, it wasn't there that long. Okay. It could have been the week before, maybe that week. I don't. I don't okay. remember. Okay. Remember what kind of car it was in there? I don't remember that either. No. I know it's blue. Okay. Do you usually leave them in there after you crush them, or do you just take them out? Or? No, mostly take them out. Mostly take them out. Okay. Saturday, I, I, I was in a hurry, and uh, I put it down there, and I just pushed the crusher down, and when I took off, okay. I went back up. All right. There was only one car in the garage, and I didn't want to be in the garage, so I took it down there. Okay. And you don't know what day it was? I don't remember what day. Okay. okay. Let's go back to last week a little bit, okay? Let's go back to Monday of last week, okay? Um, this girl from the auto trader, yeah. she had come out to uh, take some pictures with a car or your sister's van, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's start early that morning. What happens early that morning? What time do you get up that Monday? Between 6 and 6.30. 6 and 6.30? Okay. And what do you do when you get up? Take a shower, get dressed. Then by 7.30 and something, or somewhere in there, then I go up. You go up? You go up by mom? Yeah. Okay. And what do you do by mom? Uh, I sit up there for a little while. And do you have breakfast? Home. Sometimes I do. Okay. I just drink a soda. Okay. So... I start at 8 o'clock. Okay. I work till 11, then went home. So you start at 8 in the morning, you work till 11, okay, and then you did what? I went home. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did, 
couple phone calls. Uh, I talked to my fiance's lawyer and that. Okay. Once or twice. Once or twice, okay. From your cell phone or from your regular phone or? My cell phone. Cell phone. You use cell phone a lot? Yeah, I don't. I do all the time, and my bills are just yeah. horrendous. I mean, you know, yours probably are too. I mean, especially in the business and stuff. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, well, it mostly don't call me Oh, okay. Okay. You guys got a group plan or something, or no? You just each have your own. What's on one account? One account. That's for the business or something, or yeah. yeah. Okay. So you went up there at eleven o'clock and you made some phone calls. You said to your girlfriend's attorney. Who else did you call? Uh, Anybody early that morning? Like at, before you went to work or in there sometime? Or? Michael, the uh, auto trader. You called auto trader that morning? I said it was late night. Okay. What time did you call? Set up the appointment for, for somebody to come out? Yeah. Okay. And what did they tell you that somebody would come out? For? <coughs> she told me uh, she don't know if she got her information already. It might be this Monday or next Monday. Okay. Who did you call? You remember? Uh, okay. I mean, the office or did you yeah. call the photographer? The office. The office. Okay. So they said it might be this Monday or the next Monday? Yeah. What did you did you tell him it was Steve calling that you're gonna you want you got a car to sell or a truck to sell or what? Thirty five now, put on five in. Okay. And Barbara's your sister. Yeah. And what's her last name again? John John? John? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Okay. So you call her about eight o'clock. Yeah, eight eight thirty. Eight eight thirty. And then you do what? You just go back to work or yeah. okay. that was only for the second. Second. And then I called I don't know, I'm time. And she told me that she was coming. Who did you call? You called somebody else? Auto Trader. You called Auto Trader? Another time? What time was that? I don't remember. Would that have been like after, the, after the first call? So yeah. like an hour after, two hours after? It could be after I got home. Okay, after you got home from after 11 o'clock? Yeah. Okay, you said that you got home at 11 o'clock and you called your girlfriend's attorney a couple times? I don't know what that was. Okay. Sometime, yeah. Let's think about the second time you called, called Auto Trader. Was that, do you think it was when you got home after 11? I think so. That's what you think? I think so. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, I understand. What did they tell you the second time you called? That yeah, she was coming out. She was coming out, okay. All right. And I think I tried to call her on her cell phone and she didn't answer it. Okay, you tried to call her on her cell phone? Yeah. Where did you get her cell phone number from? From out of here. Oh, they gave you her cell phone number? Yeah. Okay. So you tried calling her on her quite cell phone? Quite a while ago. Oh, so you've had her for a while? Yeah, well, oh, quite okay. a while. Sure, sure. So you tried calling her on her cell phone and she doesn't answer? Um, do you have lunch then or something, or by your mom or anything that day? No. Okay, what did you do then after you called her that she didn't answer? I think I just waited. Just waited? Waited for her to show up, you mean, or? Okay, no. Okay, did you, how many times did you try calling her? No, two, three times. Because I think uh, after she left, I think I tried to call her because I want to call and tell her I want another picture. After she left, what do you mean after she left? After she left, she, after she yeah. took the picture and everything. Oh, okay. So you called her back? Yeah. Okay. But she didn't answer either. 
So let's just, I just want to get this straight. So you called her once, she didn't answer. No. Okay. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And then did you call her again, or did she just show up? No, she just showed up. She just showed up. Okay. Where was the, what were you going to sell? The one, the van. The van. Okay. And the picture, though. Okay. Where was the van parked? Between me and Barbara on a driveway. By the driveway between you and Barbara. Okay. So she shows up. Oh, what time? Well, most time is between two and three o'clock. Did you? Have time you? was between uh, two and two thirty. So she shows up between two and two thirty. Yes. Yeah, okay. Like you met her before. Is that correct? A year. I'm a little sorry. Over a year. A little over a year. Yeah. Or a year somewhere. Now. You met her about a year or a little over a year ago. Yeah, she's been okay. now. So she'd come out before. How many times has she been to your house? Fifteen times. Yeah, okay. Um, time before that, I put a Pontiac in there, and that was three o'clock when she came out. The time before that, you put Pontiac in there. Okay. When was that you put the Pontiac in there? Could have been the week before, or the week before that. The week before last week, yeah. yeah. So she came out that time too. Yeah. Okay. So week before Monday, she came out. So like a Two Mondays ago or so? It could have been a Monday ago or Monday before that. Okay. And that was a Pontiac? Grand Am. Grand Am? No, Grand... Grand Grand Prix? Grand Grand Prix. Pontiac Grand Prix. So, first you'd call her that time, she comes out and she takes pictures of the Grand Prix? Yeah. Okay. And then the second time you call her, I'll take pictures of the van. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you had met her before. Oh, a lot. Yeah, a lot of things. What was her name again? Um, I forget her name now. Again. Teresa. Teresa. That's it. Teresa. So you had her cell phone number for a while then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Teresa comes out the second time to take pictures of the van, and the van's parked between you and your sister. Right? Yeah. Okay. And she, does she take the picture? Yeah. She does. How many pictures does she take, do you, do you think? This one. Okay. So were you there outside when she took the picture or what? I was coming out. You're coming out? Where were you coming out from? From the trailer. From whose trailer? Where I live. Where you live. Okay. So you come out of the trailer and you see her doing what? Well, she took the picture and then she wrote down the serial number. She wrote down the serial number? Okay. So she writes down the serial number after she takes the picture and then um, how much was the charge for that? Forty dollars. Forty dollars, yeah. She comes into the house then? No. Okay. She doesn't come into the house? Okay. How do you pay her? In cash. In cash. Where did you pay her? A, a slip of paper okay. with an article on it. Okay. What article? The 89 van for sale. Oh, the, the, um, okay, the I understand. The ad. Okay. So you paid her $40, yeah. and where did you pay her the money? Right there on the van. By the van? Yeah. Okay. Did she come into the house that day? No. Never? No. And after you pair the forty dollars, what happens next? She got her, her vehicle. Uh, I went out of bother her, and she gave me that book. She what? She gave me that out of trade book. Okay. And so she over and get it. So you came over and got the book. Yeah. Okay. When did you pay her? Outside the car? Yeah. So, okay. Well, was she standing outside the van? When I paid her. Yeah. When you paid her, she's yeah. standing outside the van. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So she, you're, she's outside the van. You're outside the van. And she pays you forty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Well, she, I paid her forty dollars. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. You paid her forty dollars, right? My mistake. Was uh, Barbara home? No, she was working. How about any of Barbara's kids? Uh, Bobby was home. Okay. How do you know Bobby was home? Miss Trump was home. Miss Trump was home. Okay. Did you talk to Bobby before that? I think earlier. I did. Talk to I don't remember. Okay. If you don't remember, that's okay. So you talked to Bob. You may have talked to Bob earlier. But anyway, you're outside, she's outside, and you pay her $40. Okay. And then what happens? Well, then she got her vehicle. She got her vehicle. And she got the book. I told her I didn't need no pickles no more. Mm -hmm. This is the Pontiac. Mm -hmm. so the book is good. Uh, I got no problems. Mm -hmm. That's just more garbage around my knee. Okay. 
she got taken down. Okay. Did you guys talk a little bit? She said, I heard she was a pretty nice girl, I guess. Just mostly it was high and, you know, my. Well, she's been there 15 times. Yeah. I mean, usually when somebody's been by my house 15 times, you kind of get to know them a little bit, you know, small talk at least, you know, at least in my, in my experience. Is, is that the case for you and her? I mean, no, not really. No? It's mostly the same thing over and over. Okay. I you know, I. Do you ever invite her into the house? And she would go down and stand by the door or something. She would stand by the door? Uh, about a long time ago. long time ago, yeah. Okay. How long ago? So on Monday at 2.30 she shows up and she's there for about how long? Within five minutes. Five minutes. So she takes a picture, you come outside, she and you are both outside, you give her the money, she goes and gets in her truck and then gives you an auto trader magazine. Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Is she in the truck or out of the truck when she gives you the magazine? She's in the truck. She's in the truck, yeah. Okay. Then what happens next? Then she goes to the boat, shut the door, I walk to the house, I put the book on the computer, mm -hmm. I came back out, then I was going to walk over to the body, but then the vehicle was gone. So you walk in the house, you put the magazine down, you come out, and Bobby's vehicle's gone? And Bobby's vehicle's gone. Okay. Because then I looked up my road and I seen her. You looked up by the road. Where were you standing? In the middle, kind of in the driveway. You're standing in the driveway in the middle, middle of your driveway. Yeah. And from there, you looked down the road. You said. Yeah. And you saw what? And she was almost by the end of the road. She had a single light turn. Teresa, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Which signal light she had on her right or left? The left. The left. That's right. More towards. You didn't see any other cars? Just three no, Okay. So she's the only car you saw on the road very much. Yeah, okay. Gotta pay attention to it. Sure. I understand. Okay, what did you do after that? I think uh okay. back in the time. house. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Watch the US radio. Eight something. What'd you eat? I don't know either. I think some uh bone in that before. Mm -hmm. yeah. But just a hair later, my mom came down. When? My mom came down. Okay, what time? A little bit later. A little bit later? Like how long later? About ten minutes. Okay, so Teresa there is there for about five minutes you said? Yeah. So that would make it about 2.35 or so? No, between 2 and 2.30. 2 and 2.30, okay. After You're not sure? 5 after, 10 after, quarter after. Not sure of the time. Okay, so Teresa's time. there about five minutes, and you go in the house, and your mom comes down. How, how long after Teresa leaves does your mom come down? It wasn't long. Five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes, okay. And what happens when your mom comes down? She brings me my mail. Brings you your mail? Yeah. Okay. Then what? She went my mail. I looked at it. And I sat I sat on the golf cart and then talked for a minute or so. Where was the golf cart? She drove up by in my driveway. Your mom brought the golf cart down? Yeah. Okay. So you sat in the golf cart with your mom? I think I did. And you looked at the mail? Yeah. Okay. Then what happened? She just stayed for a little bit, then she went back. Okay. What did you do then? Went back in the house with my mail. Okay. And then what? I don't know if the radio was TV. Okay. Or something. Did you do that all night or what else did you do that night? Well. I mean, did you maybe did you clean the house? Did you take out the garbage, burn some garbage? Uh, Go down and see your brother. Uh, I burned down my Vernon Borough for quite a while. You didn't 
I had, uh, I put some uh, uh, two cases, uh, one Mountain Dew, one Pepsi. But I've um, been there for a couple days already. Where'd you put that? That was in the burning barrel. Okay. Where's the burning barrel? Front or That's in the front. Okay. Can, can you explain that for me, please? You said you hadn't burned anything in your barrel for, for a little while. And you put a case of Mountain Dew and Pepsi in there? Yeah, empty. Okay. Empty that cardboard. Yeah. Okay. Cases, you know. Okay. Where was that burning barrel? In the front. In the front. Okay. Did you burn anything else besides? Did you burn anything that night? No. You didn't burn anything that night. No. Okay. Oh. Have you burned? When did you burn the burning barrel last? Before that.
Well, let's go back to that Monday we were talking about. We kind of got off track here, okay? So you said that your mom came over, she gave you the mail. By this time, Teresa was gone. Yeah. And you went in the house and you looked at your mail, right? Yeah. And you said you listened to music and watched TV. Did you do anything else that night? Well, I remember uh, spending some time with my Barbara because they got that deer. Okay. And that was the same day? On Monday or? Yeah, I think so. What do you think it was? Same day on Monday. Okay. Who got the deer? Uh, Bobby did. You shoot it or? No, somebody hit it up the road. Okay. You said before that Bobby was gone. What time did, who first came home over by Barbara's house that night? Do you know? I don't know. Who normally comes home during the day first? Do you know that? Uh, the boys. The boys from school? Okay. What time do they usually come home? 3.30, 4 Okay. Somewhere there. Okay. Can I ask one question? I'm back on way up because I don't have no other answer about it. You said that you, you called her because you had another vehicle that you wanted her to take a picture of? Yeah. Which vehicle was that? Well, I wanted to put the, the loader in. One that's sitting up the road. It's been sitting there for quite a while. The motor? Yeah. That had been from the salvage yard. It's sitting on your road? You drive it? Yeah, but it's fenced up, but uh, impound. Okay. There's a loader there. Yeah. What's so, it called? Yeah, right before the trailer. That house trailer. That blue one there. Yeah. That's right before that. Okay. Did she come back and take pictures of that? Or? She came back. Oh, okay. So when she left, did you call her right after she left or how long after she left? Well, probably after the, my mom came down. After your mom came yeah. down. And how long was your mom there? Yeah. Okay. After your mom leaves and goes home, then you call her again and about the loader. Yeah. But she doesn't answer? No. So how many times did you call her in total that day? Two or three times. Okay. And that call was just before your mom came down? Just after? You said just after and for the loader. Oh for the loader goes after the mom came down. Okay. I gotta let him catch up a little bit. <laughs> so let's go back to that night. You said you were at home and you listened to some music and watched some TV. Do you remember what TV shows you even watched on Monday night? Well, I really don't watch too much TV shows. I watch mostly uh, like country music and uh, some shows. Do you have the cable or something? Yeah. Okay. Were you home all night by yourself then? Yeah. Nobody so else got over? I was over by Barbara, yeah. Over by Barbara. You went over Barbara, yeah. What time did you go by Barbara? You said you went over to look at the deer. What time did you go over there? I don't know. Okay. But I know Earl and Bob Fabian came down. Well, Earl and Bob Fabian. Yeah. Okay. When? Sisters or after? After. After. Okay, so you went to your sisters, then you came, you went away. No, he came over first. He came over he first. Got back, then that went to Okay. So what did they do when they came down? They stopped for a minute. And then they were riding around with a go kart. They were looking for, I don't know, rabbits or something. I don't know. Okay, looking for rabbits. 
Okay. So they leave, and you go over by Barbara. Yeah. Okay. How long are you over in Barbara? Probably not too long. Because then they had to go get that deer. Okay. And what did you do? Mom came back home. Okay, what did you do? Did you do anything that night? Did you go anywhere after you came home from Barbara's house? No, I mostly was there, from there. You know, with the deer, and I sat there listening to the radio, you know, the country music when I got home. So the deer was there when you got there? Not the first time, no, they had to get it. Okay. Because I called Barbara, and she said she had to go get a deer. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that night, after you're done with the deer, you go back home, and you do what? Well, see, what do you I stayed close there because Jody called me. She called me the first time, I think around 5 o'clock or something. And 9 o'clock or something. Jody called you around 9 o'clock? Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. 8 o'clock, whatever it was. Well, it was either 8 or 9, Jody calls you. Yeah. Somewhere in there. I mean, I'm trying to be home when I tell her to call. Okay. Because you can't call her? No. Okay, and then what happens after you talk to Jody? I don't remember. Did you do anything else noteworthy that night at all that you can remember? Anything at all? Or did you just go to bed? Or did you clean? Or what? I don't think you know this. I sit around, most time I just sit around. I go back and forth by Barbara, come home. When she gonna call, I hurry up, go home. You know. mm -hmm. I stayed there for a little while until they got to be all cleaned up. Okay. In the house talking and shooting the shit. So did you help clean the deer? No. No. I know they had a mess in the garage. Oh bad. Oh yeah. bad. That's where they skinned it in the garage and everything? Where they do all that stuff. I don't know what right, you're doing. Throw the garbage on the street. Took them. Oh, they're not right there. So you're just skinning it at the house, and yeah, that still makes a mess. Yeah. You know, but you said you didn't have, you didn't have to help that. No. no. <laughs> I don't blame Barbara you. did that, and Bobby did that. Yeah, that's a mess. So what time do you think uh, you went to bed that night? My father was in bed at uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, somewhere there. Because then I laid down with the TV on it. What did you watch? Do you remember? Well, I just go through the channels over there, this, over that. Anything specific you can remember that you watched that night? Uh, I remember a couple of things on uh, sex programs. Sex programs? Oh. Like pornography, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. What channels are those on behalf? Um, between 501 to 512. Do you have to pay pay per show though, or not? Or do you just do you have no, to subscribe to them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got the, a package. I understand. We're, uh, so you watch them from like 9 o'clock to when? Do you remember which ones they were? Were they movies or, or a specific show on those that you like to watch? Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember. Two women. Two women? Okay. Is that what you're watching that night? Something with two women? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember what it was called? I don't remember. Remember which channel it was? I don't remember that, which channel was more likely. Between 
John 5.13, 5.14. But you don't remember which channel you watched that night? I don't remember. Well, they keep on, they go back and forth, you know. And so kind of it gets to that one, I go to another one. Then. Sure. So you watch, um, was it a movie or? More or I think they come on at such a time. Okay. So it was about two women having sex? Yeah. Sometimes, and then the guy comes in and then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you watch that from 9 till about 10.30, you said? About something like that. 9 till about 10.30. Okay. So then it's 10 o'clock. I shut it off. It turn on and Is there a specific one you like to watch? Channel? No. No? Just no. whatever one? Yeah, in between them 500. Okay. Whichever one's got the best one on? Yeah, whatever I like. Okay, sure. And a lot of times, it's 10 o'clock, I'm not watching those. When the weather comes up, I shut it off. So you watch the news till the weather comes up? Yeah. And then you shut it off, or do you go back to your movies, or do you go back to... No, most time I just shut it off. You shut the TV off? Yeah. Okay. Then you do what? Go to sleep? Go to sleep. Okay. So on Monday night, did you do that? Did you watch the news at all? Or did you just, because you said you watched that till 10 or 10.30, do you remember watching the news at all Monday night? Did you want to Maybe I could have because I think it was supposed to rain or something. Okay. Yeah, and then I told my kids you want it was supposed to rain or something. Okay. So then you shut the TV off and then you went to sleep? Yeah. Did you sleep all night? Yeah. Did you get up and go anywhere that night? No. What time did you get out of bed? On Tuesday? Well, most time the, the, uh, the alarm was set for 6 o'clock. Take a shower, take a okay. So, do you remember about your day on Tuesday at all? Went to work at 8 o'clock. Work at 8 o'clock. And then what? You know, I mostly, the whole week I worked in the garage. So, Tuesday through or Friday, because Monday you said you. Did you go back to work Monday, by the way, after she came and took the pictures, or did you just stay home the rest of the day? I don't know if I had I stayed home. You stayed home? Yeah. Okay. So, she come over and take. You got off at 11 that day, you didn't go back to work? No, no. Okay. So Tuesday through, what, you work every day that week? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Friday? Yeah, because okay. Thursday we went to the auction and that. Okay. Know. So let's go Tuesday and Wednesday. You work all day? Yeah. What time? 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock, Tuesday and Wednesday that week. And let's go Tuesday night. Do you remember doing anything special Tuesday night? Uh, Tuesday night? I go up to see her. Go up to see who? Jody. Go up to see Jody on Tuesday night. What time do you go see Jody? I was in there at 7 o'clock. How do you get up there? Do you drive up there? Drive up there. Where do you take your... I take my grandma. Your grandma. Now, the only time I take my truck is when I pick her up and take her to her meetings. Okay, that's the only one I got insurance on. Oh, okay. Yeah, in case something happens. Otherwise, it sits there and it's too hard on gas. Sure. Okay. So on Wednesday, um, you go to work at the 8th again now, and you work till 5. You were doing anything special Wednesday night. <coughs> Can't remember. Can't remember Wednesday night? Remember what time you went to bed Wednesday night? Anything? No. No, most of the time I'm going to bed at almost about the same time Wednesday night. Sometimes 11 at 5. Let's, okay, mm -hmm. let's say Thursday. Let's talk about Thursday. What did you do during the day Thursday? Thursday, I got up. Six o'clock. Uh, I took a shower, got dressed. Uh, I had to go up with the flatbed. Uh, get it all ready, get the checkbook. Uh, take uh, the house for, I think, for a bit. And uh, went on the road, went to the auction Thursday. Okay, what time did you go by road? Uh, before seven o'clock. Before seven o'clock, and then you pick him up, or you're uh, pick or him up. Where do you go? And we go to the auction. Where's that? In Appleton. And okay. what kind of auction? Uh, insurance. Where they, and okay, where they sell cars, yeah. insurance. Yeah. Okay. 
<coughs> you get there one time? <coughs> Did you stop anywhere on the way between your no, house? We stopped at McDonald's. Stop at McDonald's, okay. And from McDonald's you go to the insurance no. sale? No. Okay, and you're there for how long? Well, it starts at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and, and then between 11 and 12. Between 11 and 12? 1230. Okay, so after you leave there, where do you go? I'm running. Did you buy any cars? Yeah, we bought a 99 Bob uh, Grand Am. Okay. Did you bring it home with it? Yeah. Okay. Where is that now? That's in the back. In the back. In the yeah, it's all the dirt. It's all the dirt? Yeah, it was all the water out of it. Oh, okay. So, you buy the car and you took your flatbed out there and yeah. said, okay. Do you come home and you stop anywhere on the way home? Supper. I agree. Yeah. I'm not arguing with you. It's hard. 
You're trying very hard. Yeah, I'll you try. Are. And if you don't remember, then just say I don't remember, you know. Mm -hmm. You're trying very hard. Well, now I, yeah. I don't even know the dates. I got them all mixed up. That's okay. Hey, I understand. We all get things mixed I don't, up. I don't like it. That's the thing. If I get shit where I say that I got it Monday, it's Friday, I don't like it. Well, I know. if you don't know, then just the say it. I'll say I'm not sure. Yeah, but I ain't either. That's fine. I don't like it like that. Because most of the time, I know what I do. I know that. I'm still confused. There's so much pressure and everything else, and 150 people talking, and I know. I'm trying to do the right thing. And you want to take a break? I don't know what that was doing is going to do. We'll talk about other things. Like what? <laughs> Whatever you want. You want another soda, or you can get another soda, whatever you like. Good for now. Good for now. Where'd you meet Jody? Something else, something else to talk about. That's what I would say. I met her at a gas station. I mean, how long ago, Bob? If I would have stayed there, she wouldn't have been in trouble like this. Oh, she, her trouble? When she gets trouble why for she her. used to drink all the time, I got her. Her life would have been messed up. So I met her and took her car and I smashed the front end of it, pushed my blazer. So I put it in the ditch and, you know, I just got out. I had to eat the shit, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and she was in a little, you know, she didn't like it, it was her car and then, it's a go, get on it. That's a lot of that. If I would have stayed, she would have been that trouble. That's four or five times already. Hmm. Four times with herself. Trunk driving? How long is she going to be in there? She's going to be nine months and four years probation. When did she get in? Oh, um, she got half done, I think. Oh. No, you were? Yeah. Oh. I got a friend that, kind of a friend that he has that was in prison for, yeah, you know, Supermax. You ever have to go there? No. Down Bondo, is that Bondo Will, Mark? I think so. I think so, yeah. Bosco Bell. Or Bosco Bell. Yeah. And he was down there three years. That's a long time in solitary, essentially. And he got, he finally got out, he won an appeal of some sort, and he got out, and he said it was very rough. Since he said, is that how you go through? Did they prep you for that at all, or I mean, well, counsel you a little? And, no, that is totally right here. Yeah, they can empathize with that. That had to be tough. Just like this, from the right in it. Yeah. Uh, well, we're not, uh, what about we're not down on you or anything. I don't know. What about this cop? You want to talk, talk about, about that? that? Let's talk about that. That's something you might want to talk about. Give us some info on that. Do you want to talk about that? Yes? Tammy Weber told me that. So you want to talk about that, yes? Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Tammy Weber told you? Yeah. What did she tell you? That she heard from somebody else, and somebody else heard it from a cop to them. Then it came to me. What did she tell you? What did she tell you she heard? She heard, she told me, that she heard that a cop put it out there and planted evidence. Put what out there? The vehicle. And that's Teresa's vehicle? Yeah. So Tammy Weber told you that, somebody told her yeah. that a cop put that vehicle, Teresa's vehicle, out on your property. Yeah. Say that again, Mark. Tammy Weber told Steve that somebody told her she heard it from someone else to help that a cop put Teresa's vehicle on your property. Is that right? Do I got it right? Yeah. Okay. And some evidence or whatever. What kind of evidence did she say? No. Do you know who's telling Tammy Weber this? Well, it was some other well, woman, another woman who was supposed to hear that from a cop. A cop so a cop told the other woman, another woman told Tammy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he said two I more women 
and he said that I had a right to know. Yeah. Did they say what cop put it there? No. They weren't, she wouldn't tell me that. Would she tell you what where this cop worked for what agency? No. No. Did she tell you where the cop put the vehicle? No. What else did she tell you? Probably easier if I ask what else she told you. That was about it. That's it? Who's, I was trying to get a hold of her. And who's Tammy Weber? She lives in Florida. Did she say anything about evidence? What kind of evidence that this cop put there too? No, I guess they're, she said they're, they're trying to set me up for a burn student's case. And that was Teresa's family. Okay. And Teresa's family is involved in this too, you think? That's what she says. So you, who says that now? Tammy did. Tammy told you that Teresa's family is involved in trying to set you up? No, she didn't put it in that way. Okay, she well, said, I don't want to put words in both. You tell me what she said. Or with Bernstein's case, and Bernstein knows Teresa's family and everything else. And mm -hmm. I don't know how she put it. That they're trying to put the rap on me. And that's what Tammy told you? Yeah. Okay. How do you think that truck got on that property? I mean, which way do you think they came in or? Well, when I see him head, uh, taillights by me, and Chucky see him headlights by him, I don't know. They can open it. Which way was it pointed? What? The truck. I don't know. I don't know. What, uh, was there a different way in there or? Two ways in there, or a bunch of ways in there. There's main road, there's by me, there's in the pit. Okay. By you. Is there a road down by you? Well, there's a, there's a road going up so far, and you got the field and everything. Oh, okay. So you could go, you could go through the field. Yeah. All right. What kind of truck was it, you know? Of course, everybody knows now. I'm trying to think of it, that's why I'm asking. Toyota. Toyota, that's right. I think it was a four-wheeler or something like that. Like, I don't know if it was a four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. Okay. So that's what Tammy Weber told you. Did Tammy tell you anything else? No. Where did Tammy tell you this at? Where did you On the Tammy? telephone. On the telephone, she called you? Yeah. Okay, do you remember when she called you? Last night sometime. Last night sometime? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to get hold of her this morning. I talked to her twice. Yeah, she said she was in my o'clock first. Then, then, then she had to go up by the hospital. Her mom was there. She told me. Where does Tammy live? In two of us. Is she a friend of yours or something? Or? Yeah, I know her. How do you know her? Mm -hmm. It was uh, a friend at one time. You sure she didn't say anything about the evidence? What kind of evidence there was planted or anything like that? No. And the cop was supposed to put that stuff there too, whatever she was talking about, but yeah. we don't know what she was talking about. Yeah. Okay. She said where it was supposed to be? No. 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 There's planted evidence. We talked to her? Can we? Uh, this morning. No, can we, can we talk to her? Okay. Did you tell her you might or not? Yet? Okay. Well, I didn't know she told you don't tell anyone or don't tell anyone my name. Or... Okay. Okay. Did you ever see that vehicle up there, right? In the yard? Yeah. I haven't been in the yard in the... No. Way down in there. Well, I don't put on there every day. Okay. I haven't been out down there hardly at all. When's the last time you were down there? Do you remember that at all? Or a long time ago? Or I think mean, that's kind of where you were shooting in that area, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you see it that day? No. And that was Friday. You said you were yeah, I wasn't looking. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. If it's sticking out, if I see some, then I notice it. Mm -hmm. But it didn't stick out, you didn't see it? No. I understand that. Got a little bit of crusher. And the farmer's only right there. Mm -hmm. And the car's right there. Not to start out, I would go drive over it, see what that is. Mm -hmm. you know? 
I'm going to step out and get a drink of water with Tom. Do you want to just relax for a few minutes? I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah, right. coffee? So, 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 so,
talking yet for a few minutes? Listen. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. What am I gonna say? I don't know. Close the chat for a few minutes. Chat. How come everything comes from Manitowoc? Is that the county we're in? Because if you see here, let me show you. Um, yeah, how come the judge is from Manitowoc? Because we're in Manitowoc County, that's why. Um, but the officer here, Wendy Baldwin, she works for County Manitowoc County. Okay. Um, and this was done up by the district attorney from County Manitowoc County. Okay. The reason it's from Manitowoc is because you live in this county. So this I am the arrest then. We have the arrest part that we copy that warrant here too. For you. Do you want to see that? Anyone want to show you the uh, complaint? So that means I'll go in front of the judge tomorrow. And I, I don't know. Right I don't know when, but you will. Normally we don't show a criminal complaint to someone, but we do that. Steve, 
you know, that's a matter of it's, it's just a matter of did you do this intentionally or was it an accident? I didn't do if it was an accident, people understand accident. Maybe you threw her off the junkyard and she fell and hit her head and you were scared. Was that the case? If that's no. the case, you should tell us that. Because I don't think you're, you know, this cold-blooded killer, unless I'm wrong. Was it a mistake? Or did you mean to do that? I think it was a mistake. I think something went wrong. I did not do it. How does the body end up in your property? The key ends up in your house. The blood ends up in your house. How does that all happen, Steve? A setup. A setup from whom? You were home all week. You told me you were home all week. Yeah. You were home all week. Uh -huh. Steve, we got your prints. We got you in that car. How'd your palm prints get out of the car? How's my palm prints in the car? We got your person on that car. Right by the door. You know how this works. You can't beat the evidence. Work with us a little. If you think of your family. Think of your family. I do not do it. How is your family going to be when they think you're a cold-blooded person? If you made a mistake, they'll understand that. I understand and that. People's got my fingerprints. People make mistakes. Who's got your fingerprints? Everybody does. Who? The crime lab, the police station. What police station? Manitowoc. Manitowoc had nothing to do. That's why him and I are here. Okay? Yeah, but if there's a crooked cop. They're going to plant her blood in your house and put the key in there when you're home all week? How's that going to happen? You're home but all I ain't home all week. You just told me you're basically home all week. Well, I work up at our garage. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me somebody planted that and the body? I didn't do it. Who did it? I don't know. Steve. I do not know. Steve, think of your family here. For I a am thinking of my family. No, you're not. You're thinking of yourself. No. You're thinking of yourself. And we don't blame you for doing that. God damn it. You have 17 years in prison for something you didn't freaking do. I didn't do this one. And we understand that. Who, why would I give you everything if I did it? I wouldn't be talking to you. Who did it? Maybe it's because you want to talk to us. Okay. I don't want to talk okay. to you. you. Didn't, you I didn't. don't want nothing to do with no cops. I don't think but I know there's people, killer. there's people out there that's got my shit. And the cops are the perfect ones that got it all. So the somebody that takes, the you, sure, the got somebody that takes your bloody palm print and puts it on somewhere? How does that happen? A bloody palm print. How does that happen? Right. How does that happen? Steve, explain that to me. All right, Something. You made a mistake. No, I didn't know. You made a mistake. I didn't do that. How can so I make a mistake? So you intentionally killed her. Is that what you're telling no, me? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. And how did it happen? Explain to me how it happened. I didn't do I that. think you made a mistake. I didn't do that. I think something went too far. No. Then I'm wrong. How can I do it when my mom came down, my brother came down, and I'm over by my sisters? Well, I, there ain't no way. There's they inconsistencies see, in all of this. Steve, there's inconsistencies in your story. Everything you've been telling me, well, you how about the other? You tell one story one day, you tell another story another day. You're not consistent there. Yeah, but how about the other ones? What other ones? She's seen somebody after me. Who's seen somebody after you? She did. Who did she see after you? I don't know. She didn't see anybody after you. She wasn't seen after she was at your house. How could she? How do I know? How could she? I she did didn't not leave your house. She I didn't leave your house alive. I didn't. Steve, you did. didn't do nothing to her. No. We know she was in your house. You said she was never in your house. How does her she was never in my DNA house. get into your house? How is she going to be in my house? Your own family basically has indicated that. But in my house? She was never in my How house. does her key for her truck that's on your property get by your bed? Don't you think that's something a little difficult to happen if you didn't do it? Yes, it is. It doesn't well, happen. It was one day that I smelled smoke in my back bedroom. Yeah. Where would that come from? I don't know. And I don't smoke. What, and smoke? Joe's been so you think somebody's sneaking in your house and smoking? If you were planting something, they'd be smoking. I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. So you think somebody snuck in your house and planted the evidence and they were smoking during it? What else? I don't know. Steve. But it was only Look, in the Steve, back. You know how this stuff works. You're a smart guy. I know guy. how it works. Okay, you're a smart guy. <laughs> but I did not do it. You did do it. I did not. The fact of the matter is you did. The body was found in your property. The key for her truck was found in your house. And you took the license plates off the truck and you tried to you tried to hide the truck. 
We even know how you drove the truck. We even figured how you drove the truck. And Where you if came? I would have did it, I'd have crushed this on the bitch. You didn't get time. You planned on crushing it, but you didn't get time. No. I did not do it. You, you drove across the, the field. You went by the dead end, you went down the dirt home by the hunting shacks, you went in that back entrance and you parked that car there. You walked up. Bloodhound followed your scent all that way. Walked your way up through there where the plates were thrown in. Took us to the body, took us to the place. I never walked that. Took us to your house. I was never... I, was I know you're scared, Steve. I know I'm you're scared. I'm not scared. Because you didn't mean to kill her. I, I don't think you meant to kill her. No, I did not do it. No, this wasn't a planned thing. No. Did you plan it? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I didn't think you're that kind of a guy for me. I, I think what happened, you come out of prison for serving time for something you didn't even do. I did not. And it me. screws you up in the head, like it screws everybody up. They didn't give you any counseling. You said that before, they gave you no counseling. I did not. The body me. is on your property. The key is in your bedroom. You know the key is there because you put the key there. That's the only way the key gets there. No. And yes, Steve, yes, that's a fact. You can deny all you want. The evidence will show that, okay? That's yeah, the way it is. The cops got the evidence. Yeah. Two independent investigators that have never met you. <laughs> Two people who have never met you have nothing against you. I know nothing about you. No, you see, if somebody else plants that shit there, you ain't going to see then it. Why, are your, why is your DNA there? Why is her blood in your house? How are they going to get their blood in your house? How is her blood in my house? I can't. I how I does your to, DNA get inside the truck? I used to leave my house open all the time. How does your DNA get inside of a truck? My DNA ain't. Hmm. That's because they got blood out of me. How much blood they got out of me? A lot of blood. Steve. They got a lot of Steve. blood out of me. That's sure. Steve. Come back to reality here. I am. No, you're not. I did it. Do you think that. I want to do any more? No, I don't think I you don't. want to. And that's I what don't. I'm trying to say. Do you want to spend the rest of your life there because you're a cold-blooded killer? Or I mean, did you make a mistake? Did she fall in the junkyard? Maybe you went down there to look at a car and take her down there to show her a car that you want to take a picture of. Maybe she fell and hit her head and you were scared. Maybe that's what happened. That's what I'm thinking more like. I don't think you just took her into the house and killed her. I think it was an accident. I think maybe that she hit her head and you were scared. And I would be too. I mean, you're thinking these guys, these cops are up getting me anyway. And she hits her head and all of a sudden, oh my God, what do I do? That might be. Her blood ain't in my house. That could be. If that's what happened, tell me that's what happened. Then I, can, then I can go with that. If that's what happened, Steve, you need to tell me that. No. Or did you just drag her into the house and kill her? No. Is that it? No. Then how does her body end up on your property? If it's not a mistake that makes you a cold-blooded killer. If it's a mistake, I understand it. No. The judge understands. The jury understands. Everybody understands when people make mistakes. Everybody does. I do. He does. We all make mistakes. But you need to, we need to know that because if it's not a mistake, that means it's intentional and you're, and you're cold blooded killer. That's what we mean. No, no, but if no, it's a mistake, I'm she talk. fell and hit her head. It is. It's a mistake. No, I want to talk to my lawyer. Okay. Then we're done. I did not do this. Okay. Then we're done. Honest to God, I did okay. not do this. Okay. How my stuff got in there, or whatever. Is I did not do it. So you might take me to the Manitoba County. Call me there. Okay. Why don't you stand up for me, okay? Put your hands on your back. I'm sorry for all of this. That's I ain't blaming you. I know you're not. We're not mad at you. I didn't do it. We're not mad at you, okay? I have somebody's, I... Been, somebody's doing a good job on me. You wouldn't believe, I mean, I have, I have feelings for you because of what you went through. You just relax your right there. I don't care. I can understand that not something like that can happen. I don't your shirt up here. I don't okay. know what you went through. I okay. did not kill her. Is that okay? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, just like like no lock okay, I'll loosen it up for you. Get your handcuff key in and we'll that.
still tight. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that baby around. And I'll loosen it up a little bit. One more time, okay? Good. Relax for a second. Very sweet. Can I take this off? Sure. Let's take that off. All right. I'm going to double lock those so they don't get any tighter on you. Okay. change that decision. Stay right there. Please.